Anyways, kick <laughs> us off. All right. Um, we return. Um, found out where Morgan's wife is. Uh, she's in the <laughs> in the fucking cave <laughs> we went to originally. Um. To, to find out the point of origin of Tiamat's return. Tur- turns out she's there. And we were like, what, 300 meter, 300 feet away from her corpse and didn't know. So now we're waiting to see if there's a teleportation circle that's nearby. If not, Rebecca has a idea. Just send Andromeda and she can bring back a bone. Morgan also was the only one to venture by himself deeper into the complex. <laughs> I had to wrangle Tia. Tina, eat your food. That's right. I went really far in, didn't I? Yeah, you yeah. talked. You asked like, "What's for food? What's for dinner?" <laughs> yeah, you like went and talked to his, the cook. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Are you okay? I inhaled a bit of my saliva. <laughs> and that <laughs> The high temperature Beck was talking about is getting to him. He hasn't had his maple syrup. Oh. Yeah, and I inhaled a bit of my saliva. Bro, it sounded like you took a hit. I thought you were dying. I, I was... Cl- it was... Soccer's more correct. <laughs> no, 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 no. You see, Rebecca's dying, not Beck. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it. That, that... I thought she was dead. Uh, that's Rebecca, two. You cough like a man. If Beck dies, Rebecca dies. Um, I cast uh, flesh to stone on Zarin. Uh, do you have that spell? I will next level. I transform Andromeda into a basilisk. <laughs> <clears throat> I also don't have two polymorph. <coughs> that would work are you gonna be all right yeah yeah i'm fine <laughs> anyways yeah that, that that sums it up okay um having returned from your uh story gathering and venture to find <clears throat> religion as well as rebecca just trying to learn some of uh morgan's people's culture and failing to exercise a doll. Um, you return to the tavern for the night. Um, and I believe let me make sure I have the date right. Should have done this <clears throat> while we were sitting around talking about uh whatever we were talking about. means today is the 25th. Um, <clears throat> today, the repairs should be finishing. And then the expansion begins. Yes. <clears throat> Uh, so, morning comes. Uh, when you wake <clears throat> up, the doll is sitting on the bar. Wait, what? I reach into the bag of holding and think, doll. Nothing comes out unless, for some reason, there's another doll in the bag <laughs> of holding, Morgan. Do you have another doll in the bag of holding besides the haunted one? Uh, hold on. Let me check. Sort of? <laughs> I don't remember <clears throat> when I got it, but for some reason I have straw scarecrow like little doll thing in there. So Why do you have that? I think some kid gave it to me. This was like this was like early. This was like Baldur's Gate you, session. Like you two. were given that uh, 
because you were by the uh, the little kid in the town with no name. Right, 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 right. So yeah, you helped you helped her out with one of the like carnival style games, I believe. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That that was really far back. My my brain stem. So um, yeah, you pull out a straw doll. Well, this and is... try as you might, there is not the uh, the creepy doll. All right, so this thing has the ability to teleport between planes back to its port point of origin. <clears throat> hmm. I'm going to try something. I'm going to take the doll and put it in like one of the empty slots in the wall in the basement. <clears throat> on the door. Uh, so it, it's a relief carving where everything sticks out, <clears throat> and it's a face and an elbow missing, so there's not really any slots. Oh. Uh, you could try to, like, wedge it between some bits of the carving, but it doesn't stick out very far, so... Yeah, I'll just press it to it, then. Okay. Uh, nothing seems to happen. Just drop it and go back upstairs. Please don't hurt me. Actually, um, Rebecca pauses as she's starting to walk away. Rumored that a hag owned the orphanage. She turns and looks at the doll. Um, is this... Please don't be like those sentient dolls that had the souls of children bound to them that my friends found in the Tomb of the Nine Gods. Those... <clears throat> From what you were told, I, I met your them. Brief inter- your brief interactions with them, those seem sentient in a way that this might be, but nowhere near the same level. Everything it's done seems more reactionary than having any um, thought behind like it. Like those, those were actually able to have a conversation. Yeah. Okay. Except for one of them. <clears throat> Clay no face. I be able <clears throat> to look around the building and see if maybe I could find one or two of those missing pieces? Sure. Um. Andromeda will help. Yeah, go ahead and make me a... Uh, <clears throat> you're going to spend some time going through the whole place. I'll, I'll let you choose investigation or perception. I will do the one I am better at. I have chosen correctly. <laughs> okay. Well then. Uh, You, in in one of the closets upstairs that has, or not, uh, not really closet, in the attic storage, uh, which hasn't really had to have much work done to it, uh, so most of the stuff is still just there. You do find a disturbed area that seems like, um, to be the shape of the face, as if something had been moved out of there there's there's more dust built up around this area that's relatively clean huh. so it was like it was it was here but it's been taken yes uh and with that role um Recently, but not as recent as you buying the book. Like, just shortly before. Okay. So on the order of a couple to a couple to uh, a few ten day. Huh. <clears throat> That 
is weird. Um, would he have noticed anything else going throughout the rest of the building, or...? Um... Uh, not really. You notice that, uh, you do see Lif, well, you don't see Lif, you see a broom sweeping one of the rooms that you have assumed to be Lif. That was Leaf. Okay. Uh, Leaf, you are correct. Leaf Erickson. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> ninder, ninder, ninder. Um... He would walk towards the sweeping broom and just go, Hey, uh, Leaf, you, you didn't move the piece that was up in the attic, did you? He knocks the broom taps <clears throat> against the floor twice. Which we established was a no. Alright. Um, was there someone that came in here before we showed up the first time? Uh, one knock. Which you know to be yes. Okay. Um, he, he would say you said about like a ten day or two before we came in? Roughly. You're not exactly sure, but it seems like that's the right range. You'd say, was it two ten days before <clears throat> we came? Uh, two ten days before you came. Uh, he will knock once. That's, uh, yes, right? Correct. Okay. Um, all right. <clears throat> Was it someone that has been here since? Two knots for now. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just going to... My, my brain... Yes, one, two, no. Okay. One if I yes, two if I know. <laughs> two if I know. Um... <clears throat> Was it a guy? Ye one. Okay. Um, human? Two. Uh, dwarf? Two. Elf? Two. <laughs> well, if I just go and do the player's handbook. Dwarf <laughs> or elf? Um. Dragonborn? Two. Jurassic, okay. Jurassic. Definitely not that. Um. Uh, Andromeda was with him if you want to have Andromeda do uh, an interaction. Yeah, Rebecca will speak through Andromeda. Dude. Was it a halfling? Two. Two? Really? Ooh, a tiefling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what he said. That's we, not we can here. reasonably assume that whoever wants to be there was there. What about uh, a tiefling? Two knocks. Furbolg? <laughs> two knocks. Goliath? Oh, um, it's a gnome. Two knocks. What oh, knock? Uh, a gnome! A gnome. A gnome. What? Well, a gnome. Actually, it, would be, it would be three knocks, I should say. What? <laughs> three what? knocks what? for gnome? Was it a goblin? Okay. Was it a maybe? 
Three Nox is, I think I don't know. Three, three Nox is like a, uh, it could be, I don't know, <clears throat> or it could be kind of, or maybe. It's, it's a half it's any of the uncertain. It's any of the uncertain answers. You didn't, you, you, you only gave two things that they can say. Right, 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 right. Okay. Um, and you can't answer everything exactly with a yes or no. Was he? But um, but Caucasoid? they didn't say. <laughs> oh what? <laughs> right, right. Yeah, that doesn't exist in this world. Basically, he's asking. He's asking if he's Caucasian. Caucasoid? Is that what you said originally? Yeah, yeah Caucasoid. <laughs> um, That's a real term. <laughs> sure, Grandpa. Let's get you back to bed. The, the, Beck, you need to that out of the video. I don't know. <laughs> Related does, to the Caucasian to... division of humankind, there's. <laughs> okay. Um, but given that he, he that the answers were very definite no's on the other things. You get the feeling that this is like a, you're on the right track with gnome. Right, gnome. Um, or like like maybe <clears throat> deep gnome. This is as small as a gnome. There, there's there is one knock when Rebecca slash Andromeda, whichever one said that. And Rebecca threw Andromeda. Okay. Wait, what was the, was the one knock? Kind of a deep gnome. Yeah. So a sn snerve to believe in. Snerve neblin. Yes, Nerf Neblin. Um, <clears throat> Here in Dublin. Okay. So a so a deep gnome. About two ten day ago. We could ask the uh, the people around us see if uh, they've spotted a deep gnome about two weeks back. I was oh. thinking about asking <clears throat> the neighbors. Do we know any deep gnomes? Nope. No. Leave. Uh, well, Did well, you... why do you speak under common? <laughs> why do I you don't speak recently under... know any? Because sure. his mother was a I don't speak drow. Under common. Well, that's common Morgan doesn't. Oh, Morgan. One of you does. I don't. Uh, Zar Zarin speaks under common. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm, I'm being dead ass. Why yeah, Zarin speaks under common? Why I'm does Rebecca say, no, speak Minotaur? Because you studied it in school. <laughs> you told me this. Yeah, I know. I was just making a joke. <clears throat> okay, so um, <clears throat> we we could we could ask our neighbors. Leaf did did he take anything else? Three knocks. Do you? Th Think he took something else. Three knocks. Shit, come on, man! It's a yes or no. Do you think he took something else? <clears throat> he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Did you, did you watch him the whole time he was here? Um, people can take things right out from under your nose while you're watching them uh, intently. Yeah, that's, that's I've true, done it, but like, but like, <clears throat> how are you gonna know if a ghost is watching you? I mean, like. Is, is Always there a assume way... a ghost is watching you. Is, is there a way that like you could check real quick to see if something's like not here? I mean, we've probably disturbed things too much for that. Yeah, because of the construction and everything. Yeah. Things are very moved around from how they were even when you right. first got here. Well, well, thank you, Leaf. You you have assisted us greatly in this endeavor, and I appreciate it. Also, probably we should probably look into a way to getting you to communicate with us better rather than just the uh, knocking. Um, Morgan also inadvertently uh, invented 20 questions. Yeah? Yeah! <laughs> I have this really fun bar game that you guys can play. It's called Ask Leaf as Many Questions. <laughs> <laughs> now, we established that he's like, what, a spirit? Poltergeist. poltergeist. Uh, poltergeist. Your best guess is Poltergeist. Okay. Um, so I think we established like the last session that Zarin would like wouldn't know but knows what a poltergeist is you know you know what i'm saying like he doesn't know like what the like specifics are but he knows what one is 
Yeah, yeah, you you know what it is. Uh and you know a bit about it. They're uh make sure the D&D lore is, is the same. Uh they they're essentially <coughs> undead that instead of being brought back like how, you know, skeletons and zombies are. Yeah. Um had some kind of strong connection to a to a physical place. Right. Um and just didn't or couldn't move on for um, some reason. Are they able to inhabit bodies? So? Um Poltergeist no. possession. No. No? No. No, because they're an amalgamation of spirits. Not a poltergeist a is a variant of a specter. <laughs> Wait, but I thought specters could possess you. Uh, specters cannot. They have incorporeal movement, sunlight sensitivity, and life drain. Uh, poltergeists have a couple extra things. They're the, the purple lightning looking boys. No, but which ones? Because there are spectral undead that can possess you. They can just ghosts. Is that just ghosts? Ghosts. ghosts can, yeah, ghosts. Um, uh, look, there's lots of undead, and I, I can't remember <coughs> from all the books. But I can tell you because I'm looking at it, the specters can't. <laughs> and neither can poltergeists. I mean, poltergeist makes sense. It's, it's an amalgamation of spirits and stuff. Uh, why remember, is it at what point we've got time, uh, probably after we deal with this whole Bahamut dying um, situation, uh, we can uh, probably, you can start working on, you could probably make a uh, sort of artificial voice box that Leaf could a possess. Ouija board. I mean, that, that's just an extension of the, the tapping, but like an artificial voice box. Board? Like, something with... A large... <laughs> yeah, an art artificial voice box that Leaf could manipulate to create words for us to hear. Yeah, I can, I can do something like that. Would that be something you're, you'd be interested in, Leaf? Uh, he will knock once. Cool. Um, there are also certain rituals that Zarin would know. Uh, yeah, that Zarin <laughs> would know about. That um, large Luigi board. <laughs> that can make uh make invisible spirits visible. Hmm. Uh not not so much corporeal where they're where they're solid, but um can make them visible. They are not exactly cheap rituals. And they're not they're not super common. So because most people don't want to see ghosts. You don't want to keep ghosts in their uh, houses. Uh, but it is something that is possible. And you've, heard, you've heard tales of it. You, you yourself do not know how to play. I mean, having a, a ghost bartender sounds like that should up the establishment a bit. A friendly ghost bartender. Reasonably. Until until someone stabs the bar and he just flips out. So when you say expensive, you mean material wise or like you have to give up something very valuable? Um <clears throat> like like material wise and being as it's it's relatively obscure knowledge, um the fees for the people that can perform it, are generally more expensive than than just your average everyday blessing or other things. I see. Uh, I don't have that. <laughs> 
you would um <clears throat> go ahead and roll me a a religion check, Saren. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be bad. It's not that bad. It's uh, average, actually. It's dead average, actually. Yeah. Um. Best you would know is maybe like one of the churches that pertains to death or the grave might know it, but you're not sure. You don't know of anywhere specific. I died. <clears throat> um, Sad. P pulling out for Dylan. I'm trying to like. Uh. I don't know. I mean, with with that, <coughs> it, it's really hard to like do a lot. Yeah. Okay, um... Well, we could do some research into Undermountain, see what we're getting into, while we wait for information on, uh... Um, <clears throat> and actually, as you say this, a... a, uh, paper crane collides with the side of Rebecca's head. Ow. Oh. As Rebecca is looking through Andromeda's eyes. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> How did this get in here? Open. There's right, a bit it? of soot on it. <laughs> huh. Should probably get those cleaned. Uh, open it oh, up. You did, you did hire yeah. <clears throat> uh, people to do that. It just isn't one of, Hasn't one been of done the last yet. things that will be happening. <laughs> yeah. Presentation clean. Yeah. Uh, and it was on the outside, so none of the contents. Uh, well, it would only be on the seal and your name. Uh, but you open it up, and it is essentially say it is a note from the Harpers that you're shit out of luck. Good luck. <laughs> uh, no. Well, in a way, you're. They don't currently have the resources to teleport you directly there, especially given that it is a... Well, I just wanted something nearby. <laughs> I didn't yeah, ask for no, a teleportation no, I'm, just I'm there. Getting there. I'm getting there. Uh, they do have a way that they can get you to uh, Troll Ford, which is just south of... Oh, we, we know the troll there! <laughs> um... Quick question, Bean. Yes. How's my symbol looking? <coughs> Your symbol? My holy symbol. Um, it's on your shield, correct? Correct. Uh, it is. It's taken some dings. Like it's not like the paint's peeling away or anything. Um, or the inlay, depending on which way you'd have it. Right. But it is it's definitely taken some dings and dents. Um But I mean it's not looking bad. Okay. It's definitely it's definitely a a shield that has seen use though. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's cracking and my god is like fuck you Zarin. <clears throat> right. Um I mean, she did judge you for that horrible business decision, but... This is did not she? canon. This is not canon! <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> That's probably my favorite thing for Bean to say after I say something. 
This is not canon. You, you have the power. Here. <laughs> yeah, that that would not have anything to do with any of the three domains that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now, if it was like a goddess of mercantile or some shit. Like <coughs> well, I mean, I mean, if if we want to if we want to get there, one of her domains is peace. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think that's pretty peaceful. What I did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so you could, you might at some point want to get it repaired, like uh, the dents buffed out of it, mm. and and such. But it's not looking bad. Um, okay. Uh, I think he's gonna take a second, go and go on a knee, and uh, he's he's gonna say a prayer to uh, Eldath. Uh, yeah, Rebecca will come upstairs to where everyone is. Be like, all right, we got 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 news and where to go. Would Would you go out to the? Would you do that here, or would you go out to the fountain? Hmm. That is being I'll, finished I'll today. Go to the, I'll go to the fountain. I'll go to the fountain. Okay. Uh, there's there's a bit of carving left to be done on it, but it is <laughs> operational, and the the workers give you a few moments. Perfect. Of uh, they they step away. Best cooperative decision ever. With Oiren. <laughs> By the way, so. <clears throat> Hello, uh, Eldath, it's, uh, me, Zarin. It's been, um, quite a long time since I've had to really sit here and pray, and, you know, I apologize for not being particularly on the path, but I <clears throat> want to get back on track with my life and make sure that I'm also recognizing you I ask for your guidance in this journey to help my friend Morgan find his wife and any other challenges that come along the way. I will do my best. You know, Bahamut fucking dying, but Morgan's wife takes priority. Friends first, bro. <laughs> bros before gods. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bros before gods. <laughs> And, uh, for good help. Because I, I, I lost my train of thought because you said that. Uh, <laughs> thank you. And, uh, he just kind of, like, gets up from a knee. I need to start by lightning. Uh, as you are getting up and you begin to walk, uh, you begin to turn to walk back inside, you hear the water stop for a moment. My water fountain. You, you turn around, and out of the out of the uh, waterfall, looking uh, I can't think of the word, but like where the water's coming out, and it's carved to look like a waterfall. You see a stone tablet eject from the pipe and land in the pool. Oh, uh, he goes over and picks it up. Okay. Um, this tablet has a a symbol in the middle of it that you recognize as uh, the symbol to your goddess. Okay. The the waterfall with the mist around it, very right. uh, almost exactly the same as the one on your shield. There's also eight what seem to be uh, pressable buttons on it. Three on the left, and five on the right. God, is the Warforged machine. <clears throat> um, he presses the first one on the right. Uh, something tells you that you probably shouldn't just press these before finding out what they are. <laughs> oh, um. You just press the Toral self-destruct button. Well done. Would I have like an it, it idea? Seems, of what it seems is? magical in nature. Oiren well, has identify, right? I can identify. Yeah, detect magic. Identify would be what you want. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. Does anyone Fine. have identify? I 
I can ritual Worms identified it. lots of things for us. Yeah, we I, can ritual. I'll ritual cast it. it. I can um, identify it. <laughs> I, I, I look back at the waterfall. Is it still paused? I know. As soon good? as as soon as the it seemed like the the tablet itself had blocked the pipe, and now it is running again. Hmm. Okay. Um. I go and find Oiren. Hey, uh, do you have a minute? Yeah, what you need? Um, I got this tablet from my goddess. Oh. She, she actually gave it to me through our fountain outside. Have you pressed the buttons on it? No, no, I, I probably <laughs> think that's probably not a good idea. Oh, okay. I just, uh, I don't know what it is exactly. Okay, I'll cast Identify. <clears throat> Okay. Virtually. Um, would anyone else be doing anything during this time? Uh, Rebecca is showing the letter to other people. It's like, all right, we got information on where to go. Just got to get the sigil sequence and we'll be able to head on our way. What if it's a religion TV remote? <laughs> it's a universal remote. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it's a universal remote. When you press it, you change what universe you're in. Intergalactic mm -hmm. television? Or it's a universal remote from uh, Click. This, this no. universal remote, when broken, creates the reckoning. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, um... So, <clears throat> while, you're, while you're showing that note around, Rebecca, and that's being identified, um... Actually, no. Yeah, so you finish your identification. This is very similar magic to, um, I believe, something that Oiren has. You can make objects of spell storing, I believe, through your artificer features. Yes, you can. Uh, yes, spell storing item. Yes. Uh, this is very similar to that. Except that each button is single use. It does not seem to recharge. No. Uh, but the three on the three on the left, when any of them is pressed, uh, it casts a spell. Find the path. Oh, does it really? Uh, you have to concentrate on this spell. It, okay. it allows you to cast find the path. Right. Uh, the five on the right are very similar, but they cast Legend Lore. Legend Lore? Yes. What is what is that spell? I I've never heard of that. Um, it gives you it gives you a lore dump on an item or place. Mm, yeah. Okay. Name or describe a person, place, or object. <clears throat> the spell brings to your mind a brief summary of the significant lore about the thing you named. The lore might consist of current tales, forgotten stories, or even secret lore that you that has never been widely known. So, um, I it would just more and the more information you already have about the thing, the more precise and detailed the information you receive is. Okay, so for example, if I go like Tiamat, it'll just info dump on me. It would info dump about uh, Tiamat. Which Rebecca's done plenty of research on her already. Right, but that is a good example. Um, but yeah. So you... Hmm. That is a cool fucking item. Would, what would this be classified hmm. as? This would be classified as um, a universal remote. I don't know. I didn't make a name for it. Because I'm bad. <clears throat> Eldath's tablet of spell storing holy shit Eldas path Eldas tablet of discovery Eldas universal tablet remote. of discovery I like that tablet of discovery I like that yeah I just I just read this thing that I have and you're like why haven't I been using this <laughs> I can use this spell eight I'm times kidding. for free yeah well and it doesn't have to be you you could cast it on like a sword Morgan's or something. Morgan's dagger, and yeah. Morgan could cast. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what spell. Healing word, have, like healing word. Yeah, Morgan could cast healing word. 
Eight times. Eight times. From the dagger that I don't think he has. What if I cast Healing Word from Spinbox? <laughs> Spinbox is not a magical weapon, so you technically could put it on Spinbox. Also, the only magic weapon I have is the Erasus Knuckle Dusters. The dagger is what Heldra says. Yes. No, I, I just said dagger because that's that's the first weapon that popped to mind. <clears throat> Yeah, you could, like, on a coin, just cast Blur into it. And then Morgan could Blur himself. Now, do you, do you want me telling you what spell... <coughs> I mean, we need to... It's probably good to know. Like, it's like having a resource, basically. Right, so I guess every, every time I sleep, I should just tell you guys what... What it is. Yeah, and you don't have to redo it every time you sleep. If you leave it, it just stays in it until it's right. used up that number of times or you make a new one. Right. So just as long as you tell me when you make a new one. Okay. Well, I'll just at the at the moment I'll make my water skin healing word. Okay. Um to use it you have to drink from it. Uh it yes. it has to require an action. Healing word is Oh, what? Cure wounds would do it. Cure wounds, if you have cure wounds. Yes, cure wounds. Yeah. So mark off one spell slot. Oh, does it take a spell slot to, to score it and imbue it? it? Yeah, you have to cast it. The yeah. bag. Gotcha. Okay. But I That's mean, fine. you're exchanging one spell slot for eight spell slots. No, no, I, I know. I, I just didn't read that, I guess. Artificers don't even get healing word. Yeah, we do. I think he gets it because of being an alchemist. Always prepared. Oh, healing word. Yeah, healing word. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> for alchemist uh, not normal artificers <clears throat> I'm special um and Rebecca Andromeda would be teleported away well no she wouldn't uh this is just uh I guess done retroactively uh from when she went to Giamu after the dream mm-hmm <clears throat> Um, this is the full thing about the potential travel to the astral plane that, uh, Guillermo told her. Uh, I'm only adding it to your journal for now until you tell me that you would be sharing the Should have a handout. <clears throat> Uh, player handouts named NPCs. Nope. Uh, it's under Mountain Secrets. Uh, scavenger. Yes. <clears throat> scavenger. Uh, would Morgan be doing anything? Or we, just we could use find more? the path to find that. Um, <clears throat> he <clears throat> would be going around to the neighbors to see if anybody saw uh, a deep numb. Okay. Uh, Rebecca will go to the Harper's, unless the the note contained the sigil sequence that I need. Uh, no, it would say to meet them at, uh, sure, the, the, the place you have this, the, the hideout that you have the code for. Okay. Uh, all right, guys, um, it's going to be a couple day journey. Uh, so if you want to prepare, uh, about, about, about a week straight or about five days straight line if you want to prepare um buy some supplies uh, uh morgan uh before you go do, do we still have those cult robes in the bag of holding uh yeah 
As a matter of fact, I do. <clears throat> uh, with the masks as well? Uh, I think so. Let me look. Maybe not. Wait. I still have mine. It's in my it's in my equipment, but not in the bag of holding the XXXL <laughs> Colt uniform. <laughs> Triple legs, baby. Um, <clears throat> I feel like he probably would have kept it because there wasn't a time where he said he threw him out. So, is that okay, Bean? Yeah, that's that's good. Yeah, we never so, said yeah. we got rid of them. <laughs> So we might have to do a little bit of adjustment for Oirums. But um, you, Zarin, and Oirum each have a cult robe and mask, and then uh, I could just mask him any faces. Although it probably would be better to have the actual thing. I don't... Although we only have three. The XL. No, we only have three. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to mask him any faces. Okay. But, uh, yeah, you, you go around to the the neighbors, <clears throat> Morgan. Uh, <clears throat> uh, the bent nail. You find out that your furniture is almost all ready and can be picked up at any time. Um, but he did not see anything about a deep gnome. Okay. <clears throat> uh. Where where all would you be going? Uh, like just to the the shops on your street, or up to the houses as well, or probably just probably just the shops. Okay. Um. You enter into the what you was what you uh, previously assumed to be a smithy because it was constantly. Sp Issuing steam from its windows. Um, also, the fact see... that it says Smithy on the sign outside. Uh, it says steam and steel. Uh, you see a fire and a water genasi. Uh, one male, one female, both hard at work. My god, my friend Bruce theorized about this. <laughs> <clears throat> um, you would just kind of come in and <clears throat> Jesus, uh, maybe, maybe just like watch them for a little bit to just not disturb them. Just kind of, okay. you know, see what they're doing. Um, you watch as there, there, it doesn't seem to be any bellows for the forge. The, the fire can also just occasionally does something you're not quite sure of and it just flares back up. And uh, they f they finish forging uh, the sword that they're currently working on. And the water ganasi just uh, issues water forth that cools the weapon down. Ooh. Um... And it wouldn't be until that point that they would seem to notice that you are here. Uh, hi, hello. Uh, <clears throat> greetings. Are you uh, here to purchase something? Um, kind of a friendly visit, unfortunately. Not here to purchase. Um, my, my name is Morgan. I'm uh, one of the new owners of the, the bar. So I just wanted to come by, say hi, you know, just meet the neighbors. Well, it's a uh, pleasure to meet you. Uh, I am 
the the fire ganasi will introduce himself as um my name's Imbrick and this is my wife Avi. <coughs> Okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, and you it... would notice that the that Avi has a necklace on that has the same symbol as Zarin's shield. Oh, you you worship Eldath? I I do. My uh my buddy Zarin, he's uh <clears throat> one of the other co owners of the bar. Um he uh, he he worships Eldath too, and uh, I think we have a little fountain getting built out front as like a little place of worship. So like, if you ever wanted to come by and pray, you could use it if you wanted to. Uh, that's that's wonderful to hear. Thank you. Yeah yeah no no problem no problem you know. Um, <clears throat> this is gonna sound a little strange, but uh. You wouldn't have happened to have seen a, a deep gnome around here lately. Um, and by lately, I mean maybe about, oh boy, how how long ago did we buy the place? Uh, it has been about a 10 day and a half since you purchased. It's, okay. And it was guessed about two 10 day. So maybe about three and a half, four 10 day from now. About, you, about you a month ago. About a month ago. You, you didn't happen to see a, a, a deep gnome around these parts? Uh, maybe going into Trollskull Manor? Uh, I know... I know Zablav was... Uh, prowling about about a month ago, but I never saw him go inside that uh, building. So, Zablav? Yeah, uh, old Zablov. He runs a he runs a shop down in the dock ward, and that is uh. Bless you. <laughs> I will kill a man named Zablov. Um. <clears throat> okay. Um. And is he like? Does he, is he like notorious for something? Or? Uh, he runs a curiosity shop. Curiosity. Oh okay. damn! I can't say I've been in there. The beholder freaks me out. The what? Uh, there's a. Stuff the holder over the over the window by the counter. It's been there uh long as I can remember. Probably before I think before he even owned it. That is weird. <clears throat> um Alright. Well uh <clears throat> thank you for that. Um Anytime uh, when when we, you know, open up, uh, come come on by, you know. Um, well, uh, <clears throat> alcohol doesn't exactly mix well with me. We do food too. Oh, you're gonna be turning it into a, a restaurant as well. Might have to stop by. Essentially, yeah, yeah. Uh, we don't just have. Uh, alcohol, but yeah, food, alcohol. Um, I think we said we were doing other beverages beyond the alcoholic, right? Uh, well, water, of course. Well, water, water for yeah. sure. But we definitely have water. <laughs> um, in terms of other that, drinks, you know, like some some juice. Yeah, maybe, maybe some I mean, juice you gotta have wine. like other stuff for mixed drinks. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. But there's not there's not like cola. <laughs> You know right, I mean? right, no, 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 yeah, yeah. You got like, yeah. you got like juice, water. Oh yeah, water, juice, maybe some uh, milk. You might get some milk. Yeah. yeah. Um. So th there's there's a little bit more of a option with, with the drink, but the food though definitely, definitely. Um. <clears throat> but yeah. Uh. When are we having? Are we doing like a grand opening thing? Like are we? <laughs> well, you could you can technically open whenever you want after repairs finish today slash tomorrow. 
I think we wanted to wait until after the basement was finished being expanded. Yeah. Okay. The cellar expansion will be another ten day. And then there will still be some more um some more upgrades and the like going on for another two ten day after that. But you can open any time after the repairs are done. Uh though the cellar expansion will probably be that's when the tap room's also being upgraded. Uh, so, so that would probably be, yeah. it'd be more disruptive. So, so basically wait, wait until after the cellar expansion and then open. And the tap room the tap expansion. Room will... Well, that's so, all one. That's all at the same time. Okay. Those are okay. Yeah, so, so the cellar yeah, tap um... room, kitchen and pantry are all getting upgraded during the same 10 day. Right, and then the right. beer engine feasting hall and distillery. And then the room of preserving. Right. Um, I so think... the kitchen won't be there for a couple, ten days still. So. Or not the kitchen, but the, the, the restaurant area. Right, right, right. Uh, I think after, to... after today, uh, it'll be another ten day before we're uh, officially opening. Uh, in terms of just serving beverages, it might be another ten day or so after that until uh, we got the the uh, like restaurant portion fully stocked and ready to go. So, um, on account of you not drinking, I, I can understand if you didn't want to come when we open for beverages only. But after that, you know, uh, please please do come by. Um. <clears throat> I, th I would say I feel like Morgan. Would Morgan understand why he does it, why he says they don't mix? The alcohol? Yeah, the fire the fire ganassi saying that. Oh, probably because like if it's high enough <laughs> proof it would just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You just yeah. drink it and explode. <laughs> you just drink it and explode. <laughs> yeah. Um Uh but yeah, so uh thank you though, thank you for that, and I'm sorry for bothering you. And uh Next time I come through, I'll have to take a look at your wares. Um, yeah, and if you need anything else, uh, if you need anything forged for your place, come on by. All right, all right. Uh, well, uh, he'll just kind of give him a nod and uh, head on out. Yeah. Oh, look at me being neighborly. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have collectively now met three of the, <laughs> gone to three of the five shops. <laughs> Yo. Uh, he'll just like reconvene with the others, whenever. Okay. Um. A bit will pass before Rebecca returns. Uh. Sigil sequence in hand. Yo. <clears throat> Um, and they they give you some they they try to give you some information about like where it's gonna come out, and I assume you're just like yeah we've already we've already been to Trollford. Yeah, we we passed through there uh, a couple of months ago. It's it's fine. Okay. So they would just. Uh... They would tell you that on foot, that is about a five-ish day journey to uh, where you're wanting to go. At a normal pace? Uh, yes. Okay, so uh, if we do a fast pace, probably would have to do a fast pace. If you do a fast pace, you cannot stealth. Fast pace until we get to the forest. <laughs> Alrighty. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, if you if you came back with the sequences, Morgan will just be like, "I'm uh, I'm ready to leave whenever." I guess. Do you guys have everything you need? Do you want to stop to get some supplies first, or? Are you all good to go? How y'all doing on the rations? 
Um, let me look. Ah, that's a good question. I mean, we can always hunt for food. Morgan is good at tearing goats' heads off. Goat slayer. Um, uh, I will say... Oh, we do have food in the chest of preserving, don't we? We do. You've used most of your dragon steak, I believe. Yeah. I have a lot of it away. Yeah. <laughs> to the um, elves. So... I have ten rations. So do I. Oh, you just have your base rations. All of all yes. of the prime white dragon meat is kaput. But uh, I do still have twenty pounds of the black dragon meat, uh, which I don't know how many meals that would. Oh, be. white dragon! I thought you meant like white meat, like. Uh... <laughs> Like, like bird. White meat or dark meat? Yeah. Yeah. You know, white meat or dark meat, Becky? They are, they are clearly red meated animals. Not, they're not fucking birds. I don't know. They're, they're kind of like lizards. What kind of meat do you get off lizards? I don't know. I've never eaten a lizard. Actually, meat. let's 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 look at uh, I, I think gator might actually be light and dark meat. Would that be the more accurate meat to compare dragon meat to? I mean, they're they're both lizardish. It's more so than a mammal. It's more so than a cow. True. True. Um, alligator tail is white. So yeah, it's white and dark meat. Tastes like chicken. <clears throat> um. But yeah, he's got he's got twenty pounds of that, and for some reason I still have ten rations. So, and Rebecca uh, doesn't have to eat. Nope. And Rebecca doesn't have to eat unless um, Morgan puts on a ring. <laughs> that's true. <clears throat> it made the ghost need to eat. That's a dangerous ring. <laughs> I'm still very, very upset that I messed that up. It's yeah. fine though. It was funny. It was funny that the ghost ate. Um, yeah, but imagine if everyone would have been full because Morgan ate. Yeah, and then they'd be like halfway through eating and be like, "What?" <laughs> uh, how many? It's five silver per ration. Um, I believe that's right. Well, people get all the uh stuff ready yeah it's five silver i'll uh be drawing the circle and saying goodbye to lord well would morgan be going to zoblob's shop mm, or would that be a later thing no he'll do that later yeah okay it's it's cool. there is a god that's dying we can solve the problem of the mystery door later okay uh That is I'm correct. Just, okay. I will Are you do... buying 60 rations? Yes, and since Rebecca doesn't need to eat, he'll do um, 20 for the three of us that do need to eat, essentially. Okay. So, uh, so, so Zarin and Oirim... Morgan's giving you 20 uh, rations. Current page not compatible with Paladin Aura due to the following setting. Scale units, not feet. <laughs> Scale underscore units, not feet. Listen. You Scale forgot the colon. If you're going to say the underscore, colon. say the colon. Not. Uh, 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 comma. No, not comma. Um. Como it's not, estas. It's not parentheses Como. because it's not two of them. So what is that? Um, Muy bien. Grassy ass. What Grassy is that called ass. Again? I don't know. Apostrophe. Scale underscore units colon not apostrophe ft apostrophe. Apostrophe skill issue. All right. Uh. Okay, so, so with here's your all you add twenty to your sheet except for heck. Like you, like that's good, right? Like you don't actually have to eat. I don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Okay. What if Rebecca wore the ring? 
Would no one have to eat? Oh my god, is that how I was supposed to be using that this whole time? I mean, we don't know if it actually, like, is real not eating. Or it just makes you feel like you don't need to eat. I feel like that needs to be tested at some point or another, though. Yeah, not right now. <laughs> yeah, not right now, though. Okay. Uh, you teleport down to Trollfjord. Trollfjord. Where is that? It's not on this map. It's too far south. Uh, oh, fuck. It's south of Ishporta. Oh, it's shit, just south south? of the bridge that we met the troll at. Oh, okay, got you. The troll that was collecting uh, the the fee for you to cross the bridge so he could repair the bridge. <laughs> yes, the, the tax man. Oh, shit, did we say that we might help convince some merchants to help him with that? No idea. Uh, you teleport down there, and just a short walk north, you come across... A familiar sight for two of you. A very large troll standing in front of a bridge. However, the bridge is now completely repaired. Oh! Uh, he, he, like, looks like he's trying real hard to count how many of you there are. Mm hmm Two gold to cross bridge. I see you got the bridge fixed. Yes, bridge fixed. Uh, working on upgrades. Upgrades? Like what? Get, get to the light. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. Upgrades. Eventually, upgrades. Uh, you could build an inn or something. Good stopping, good stopping point for people traveling from Esparta to uh, Troll Ford. You smart. You stay. You stay as uh, advisor. Unfortunately, <laughs> I have my own business up in Waterdeep uh, that I have to attend to. But uh, if you ever get to your, um, that inn up, we could uh, maybe talk about potentially franchising. Mm -hmm. he just like steps aside he hasn't even taken gold from you he just sit, steps aside and sits down and is like holding his head in his hand thinking like stroking his chin he does not seem to be paying any attention to you now <laughs> I'll just take two gold and sit it down at his feet with mage hand Thank you, come again. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you come again. again. I don't have gold. Uh, I'll give him... Um... No, no, the two gold was total. Oh, total! Okay. Alright, well, bye. Oh, shit, I should probably mark off a thing. Oh, man, I'm gonna have to pretend to be a specialist again when we get to Espuerta. No, we're just uh, we're just running through basically. Traveling at fast pace to get there. Uh you arrive before nightfall. Yeah, let's uh, just well you arrive right about sunset. Yeah, we could probably get it in and then continue onwards to the forest the next day. Oh god, our horses. <laughs> we left them with the harpers. <laughs> Uh, some freaking Zarin that has the highest passive. Me. Is it? Or 19, I don't know. Yeah, 16. Oh, yeah, Zer you Zarin definitely do. Yeah. Is it Oyrin that? No, it's Rebecca that also has the. Oyrin is a 14, and Rebecca is a. 16. 16. Uh, Morgan, as you're both, as you're all just like speed walking along the road and about to enter the town, 
you see on a uh, on a lamppost just just before the gate your face <laughs> on a sign wait wait what, what what is it what is it wanted for impersonating an officer ah! god what's, damn it what's the bounty yeah how the, much? the bounty is uh wanted for impersonating an officer and attempting to to start a war uh, <laughs> wanted the bounty, dead <laughs> the bounty is 1000 pp alive holy serious? shit 300 oh. dead <laughs> holy <laughs> it might be worth the tournament <laughs> holy um, shit we're gonna just snatch that off and fold it up and put it the, in the bag. Uh, if, if it's taking the time for you to get up there, everyone else also sees this. Hey, the, uh, the other three of the other your companions. Oh, uh, Morgan, we should probably get you. Maybe let's just walk around the town and stay away. Hey, uh, Rebecca, isn't that you on that poster? That's not me. That's Morgan. Are you face blind, Saren? Ah, <laughs> uh, you're both half elves. <laughs> Remember, his passive is ten, so <laughs> which is oh, average. He's got the average eyes. He goes, "Hey, uh, sorry." Yeah, it's starting to get dark. His his dark. He doesn't have dark vision. It's fine. Uh, Morgan. Hmm? Yeah. Why are you on there? I know it's exactly why, story. and now's not a good time because we probably should get away from town. Um, <laughs> because that's a hefty a bounty control coming down the road. Uh, he he hear me out, Morgan. Not now, Zaren. Let's go. Time to go. Uh, Goodbye. No, 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 no. He he hear me out, right? No, nope, we're going, Zaren. Goodbye. That's a, that's we're walking away. In the way. We're yeah, walking we're away. away. <laughs> we're walking away. Halt! Oh. oh, criminal scum. No, they don't say that last part. Oh my god. Oh. Stop right there, criminal scum! You violated the law! It's you been a long time since I've seen a good brawl! The, the guard patrol halts up, halt, shouts out halt as you begin to walk away from the road. <laughs> oh. Um. Let's just pretend we didn't hear them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we pretend we didn't hear them. We just keep walking. They they pull out a uh, you the you know the I don't know what it's called but it's like a megaphone without an actual speaker it's just like the cone the cone thing. Oh, it's yeah the cone they, of loudening and they yell halt through it let's, let's just pretend we're deaf <laughs> Did they actually say that yes oh uh you do hear the grinding of crossbow gears uh oh uh... run. <laughs> Run, 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 run! I don't know them. Why are yeah. you traveling with they, them? They sound like they, they look like they want our attention. So, going. Uh, Rebecca, Oiren, Morgan, Zarin is the order these will be in. Uh, Rebecca, seven misses you. Okay, yep. Oiren, does a 13 hit? No. What? Zarin, does a seventeen hit? No. I uh, wait. Did uh, did that hit him? No. Okay. Good. Morgan, does a twenty three hit? Mm, <laughs> yes! Just catch it. <laughs> He's it was... running away. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna say he can't. That's fair. That's like, fair. Like you're, you're actively running away. You're not. I you just... don't see this. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden. <laughs> My ass! My ass! Uh, Morgan, you take 15 piercing damage. Holy shit! Well, there goes 10, 10 hit points. As uh, the arrow sinks into your calf. <laughs> fuck! I, I, I have zero. something for this. Fuck! Where is it? Um, if, really it, if it's cool. a 10 foot thing, I'm going to say you might not be within 10 feet of him. I'm not within 10 feet of him? Morgan, is, you, you all said you're running. 
Morgan's pretty right. fast. And Morgan is the fastest. Yeah, out of all yeah, I'd be, yeah, I'd be really by, fast. By a fairly significant amount. If we get him up to speed and he runs into a brick wall, there's a decent chance he's going through like the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> yeah. Like the Kool-Aid man. Oh, yeah. No, I, I get it. I, I get it. Um... It, it wasn't gonna. Yeah. I, I was gonna do the cool thing where I'd be like, "Oh God, Morgan, watch out!" And then like I swap places with them. Wait, wait, is that like a fucking war horn? Are they coming after us? A horn is blown. <laughs> oh my I God! It was wait, all wait, reinforcements. Would I have? Would I have thought that they recognized me when I went up? No, and I took they the did not down? seem to recognize you. They just they they ordered you to halt when you began getting off the road, and then you we, you we, kept we walking, and then stopped. you started running. <laughs> <laughs> you ran because you had crossbows. <laughs> after the after the third time they yelled halt, you they started cranking their crossbows, and then you took off running. Yeah, it's too late now. We're just we're just gonna we're just gonna in run for a penny, in for a pound. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> I'm getting the fuck out of here. You, ah, looks like ah. we're running all night, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta find a place to hide. <laughs> uh, Morgan, make me a con save. Oh no, please don't tell me it's poison. You're immune Actually, to poison. No. <laughs> uh, that's right, I'm immune to poison. Oh hey. Very interesting. That'll be wrote down. <laughs> what does that mean? And with Morgan's speed. Uh, uh, I'd take off my Cloak of the Mountain Bank and give it to Zarin to put on and like tell him it's like hey uh if you really need to get some distance grab oirum and dimension door ahead 500 feet okay. me and uh morgan will be able to catch up um zarin in the process of running gets really hungry so he's try he's like fumbling a ration in his hands while trying to eat and run <laughs> <laughs> rebecca will slow down and like put the cloak on him <laughs> oh no so this is the, yeah. So uh, this is uh, Morgan being fast enough is out of is into the long range at this point. <laughs> so his is at disadvantage, or his is at a a straight roll. They have they have sharp shooting. <laughs> sharp shooting, son of a no, bitch. It's, it's a straight roll because uh, you're not you're not looking at them, like you're actively running away from them. You're not focusing on them. Right. So right, it, it would right. normally be advantage. Uh, same order, which was Rebecca, Oiren, Zarin, Morgan. Is that what I said? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, Rebecca got crit. Oof. Oh! <laughs> I'm resistant to poison if there is any. Uh, Rebecca, you take 17. Okay, there damage. goes my temp oh my HP. Uh, uh, then 16. Uh, Oiren, a, tw a, uh, a 14. 14 misses. Zarin, a what is that? Eighteen plus four is twenty-two. Uh, oh, I'm gonna no. use shield. <laughs> oh okay. My God. And it misses. Okay. And Morgan at disadvantage. Or no, a straight roll rather. Uh, nineteen. Misses. Mm. You do hear other horns throughout the city. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> this is <laughs> we're we're almost to the edge of this the the, the forest that's to the right of uh, to the east of um, Esparta. That is a lot longer of a way than you think it is. Yeah, we're... it's not it's not a couple hundred feet. It is uh... no, it's it. We're running all night, <laughs> but yeah, I'm giving the cloak to Zarin so he could grab um, Orym and Dimension Door. 500 feet ahead, because uh, Orym's pretty slow. A tiny little man. Okay. Uh, one more all at straight rolls. <laughs> okay. Rebecca. 18. Uh, that just hits. Uh, that's, that's max damage. It's not a crit, but it is max damage. That is another 16. <laughs> oh my god. Right. I'm so good. <laughs> Oiren. That's a 16 to hit. 16 does hit. 
Uh, that is almost minimal damage. You take <laughs> you take seven points of damage, a piercing damage. All right. As a as a crossbow sink a crossbow bolt sinks into your uh the back of your shoulder. Oh. Zarin, uh, an eighteen. Oh my god, that just hits. Would you like to shield again? <sighs> yeah. Okay. Make sure you marked off those two spell slots. I did. I did. Uh, and Morgan. Oh boy. It's a twenty-two. Mm. I would like to shit. No. Nope. <laughs> you say you'd like to shit. I'd like to shield, but I cut myself. He's running so oh, fast, they'll sure. never know it was him who took a no, shit. They'll never know. He'll just kind of like shake his pant leg as he's going. And... <laughs> Morgan. Morgan starts. Uh, that is nine piercing damage, Morgan. Ow. Uh, seemingly you are out of range. Just Morgan or all of us? All of you. Uh, we're, we're, we're still running. <laughs> um, I will remind, remind you two that this is the military trade town, the military and trade center. Of Om <laughs> is called the Shield City. Oh my god. What have you done? <laughs> it didn't, didn't seem like they knew who it. they still don't seem to know who you were. <laughs> we definitely can never go back to a sport. <laughs> well they don't they didn't see our face. No, but they still um, shot us. Hopefully they don't send people out after us. They still shot us. Um, yeah, let's keep running. I guess. <laughs> just keep running and they just keep running. And maybe running. start Wait. making our way north. Making our way, making our way uh, north. At least starting to curve north. Uh, I need... Con saves from everyone. Oh, is this just because like we're all out running? You're all out running, and it's longer than a normal travel day now. So it's it's forced march, and running. Did we get the bonus from uh, Zarin? Uh, what he posted that aura protection. Yep. Because it does saves. Aura of protection. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, it does. It does work. And Zarin, I need your con save. Oh yes, sorry. Oh my god. Okay. You got a sixteen. And yours already includes. Well, oh, his already. He's already. Includes, so. Okay. Yeah. Um. Um. Okay. And I will need one more from everyone. Did I? Did I succeed did I that one? Uh, that one, that one, everyone succeeded. Okay. Oh, everyone did succeed. Okay, so one more. Yep. Oh. Okay. Um. Uh, that is a fail. Okay. Flash of genius. Oh. Does that work on saves? That's favorite. Uh. Favorite by the gods. Oh, when you, if you fail the saving throw, roll two d four. Hey, roll two d four. Now, because it was a nat one, does it still fail? No, because that's no, not. No, nat how it ones works. only affect. Uh, Attack rolls. Attack rolls. Right. It only affects it if your DM is mean. Well, it, it does also affect uh, certain things. Death saves. Yeah, death save. So look at that. Plus four is twelve. Does that pass? I think that just fails. Oh come on! Orum did say flash uh, genius. Yeah. Flash of Genius? Does Flash of Genius work on saves? I thought it was yes. only ability checks. Check, ability check or saving throw. Okay, yeah. To add, yeah. add your intelligence adds, modifier to the roll. That's four to it, I believe. Is that your in intelligence mod is a that, plus four? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Then you succeed. Thank you. <laughs> Thank gotcha you, there. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll mark down. Can't do Flash this you back to sleep. <laughs> uh, you make it a good 30 minutes into the woods at this point. 
All right, while we we're while we're doing, Rebecca will be like working on, like kind of zigzagging our path, like directing us to move in like a way that would be good to lose anyone who's following us. Okay. Are y'all so y'all are continuing on? We probably would eventually stop, but like okay. as we're like thirty minutes, at the, the thirty minutes into the forest, we're doing whatever to lose people. Okay. Uh, if you're continuing on, I do need another roll. Wow. Uncharacteristically good con saves from Rebecca. Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck, a natural 30. That's his second that's one. That's my second one tonight, yeah. Just for, just for this running, that's his second one. Are we all rolling this one? Yes. Bro, it, it's like he's running and he's not even running out of air. Like he's Morgan, just, he's seeing good. his face on this has just been... <laughs> flat out running. He's using his fat momentum. Y'all y'all have actually lost Morgan at this point and y'all are just following his trail. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's reasonable. How many, Holy he, shit. How many calories has he burned? Well, well, look, what's what's Morgan's speed? Um, so hold on. So he, he, he would have he wouldn't have thought of it uh until probably like when they heard the multiple horns, which I think was when we were out of range. But um, fifty-five. So dashing, it's it's uh, was it one hundred and ten? Yeah. But he could technically double dash because of the key thing, and and you know what I mean. Well, you'd only be say... able to do that for two minutes, and you've been running for two and a, for uh three, two and a half hours at this point. Oh no, I'm I'm just talking about like like initially when we were in like sort of that sort of like combat esque scenario. That right. he would have he would have done that um, once when he heard the additional horns because he got extra freaked. <laughs> so, yeah, he's just he was gone after that second crossbow bolt. <laughs> I do like how fast it went from from Tom saying, "Man, maybe we should collect that reward." <laughs> yeah, yeah, to just <laughs> utter chaos. Also, um, technically, the wild part about this is. I think he still has the bolt in his leg. He never took it out. No, we were still <laughs> pelted with him. And Oiron still has a bolt in his shoulder, and Rebecca has two bolts in her. It's just I was not hit. <laughs> Lucky you. Thankfully, I'm bleeding very slowly. Yeah, well, and that all, that is doing some dead. that is doing some damage <laughs> to your leg, Morgan. Yeah, yeah. Um. When it when it when it finally seems like it's time for them to stop, he would in fact stop, and um, like when so, they feel so, like they've gotten far enough away. Yeah, Morgan stops. The rest of the group takes the better part of an hour to catch up with him. An hour. <laughs> oh, he holy oh, he, shit! He, well, he went. has a hundred and fifteen. You have a thirty, and so even if you I have an eighty, you, your dashing is a sixty. It takes you twice as long to get as far as he does. Basically, my dashing. Hard. If I double dash, I have 120. Uh, 500 feet. Okay, I'll just save it. Oh. Uh, so I need I need everyone except Morgan to make one more con save. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oof. Oh. oh. oh I can't oh, help you there. Okay. <laughs> I, can't, I can't help. I you mean, there. it's a plus four because of Zarin. Uh, is that is that twenty four the new one there, Tom? Uh, yeah, I just, I just rolled that. Roll that. Okay. Uh, yeah. So Rebecca, you. If he flies some geniuses, in, I probably will be fine. <laughs> but will you? It's a plus four. Um. So you plus have a plus four to four five. From, um. No, is he... Nine. Cause... And then you have a plus four from Flash of Genius would bring it up to a thirteen. Which if he flashes. Might genius. make it. Yes, I'll flash a genius at. Unfortunately, that does not succeed. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> uh, the DC for Force March go goes up as you continue. Alright. Uh, you take one level of exhaustion. Okay. Oh. Uh, before Morgan, you hear thundering footsteps catching up to you after you've been laying there for an hour. Oh. <laughs> Zarin! Is it me that's approaching? It, it is the yeah. 
<laughs> it's all of us. <laughs> Morgan, where the fuck are you? Over here, on the floor. I couldn't run anymore. <laughs> you, you I would have stopped sooner. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. I would have stopped sooner, but I was afraid I should have stopped sooner. It hurts. Oh, my God. Yeah, the, the three of you get there. Um, You see Morgan laying on his stomach, uh, like, on the ground, just like... Uh, he, he looks pale. I'm mage handing the bolts oh. out of my back. Uh, so not, so Oyrin has a bolt in his shoulder. Rebecca has two bolts in her back. But you see Morgan, not only is there a bolt in his calf, there's a fairly big wallered out area in the back of his calf. From him running with that in there. I'll dump five healing lights into him. <laughs> uh, Morgan, I'll say you would have taken another ten from... from. Alrighty. Fourteen HP back for you. Three, four, five. Oh, I was about to heal. Okay, cool. She said fourteen. And I take the two bolts out of me. I'll dump a healing light in me for six HP back. And I'll help Order him out with his bolt and uh, dump another healing light into him for two. HP. How's everyone yeah, looking now? Sure. Rebecca's not panting, but she looks tired. Um. Okay, so I, I don't think I can do anything for, about that. Yeah, I mean, uh, Oiren and Rebecca both look. Hurt still, I believe. No, I had temporary hit points. Oh yeah, I'm... that went through your temp. Yeah, everyone looks fine except for Morgan might still have some some damage to him. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm I'm ten shy of full, but my my more major concern is if that repaired like my leg at all. You're gonna have they a scar can... probably. Yeah. But otherwise, it'll be fine. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it it hurts still, Morgan. But it seems to have closed up and left a uh, a pretty nasty scar. It, 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 does he still need help? He's he's all right. I mean, if you wanted to, I mean, we're probably taking like a lock rest right now. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you wanted to dump like ten into him, he could take it. Yeah, all right. He's gonna give. Well, actually, I have a lot more than that. Um, I'm gonna I'll give. You only. All right, I'm gonna give ten to. Uh... To to uh, to uh, Morgan. Uh, how's Oiren looking? He's fine. I'm looking pretty good. Are you at full? Yeah. Okay, and Rebecca. Uh, Rebecca is. Uh, I'm down about. Uh, I'm gonna do some math. Um, about almost twenty. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, twenty HP down. Okay, he's gonna dump twenty into uh, Rebecca. Wait, no, that's not bad. No, I'm I'm terrible at math. Um, uh, twenty six. Twenty six. All right, I'm gonna dump twenty six into Rebecca. Thank you. And, oh, uh, Rebecca took two, and one of them was a crit. <laughs> all right, how, everyone's looking good. <laughs> Yep. Perfect. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to sleep. Same. That was uh, that was quite a fucking run. How many calories do you think you burned, Morgan? You can't just ask someone what, that. What's the <laughs> calorie? <laughs> <laughs> How does Darren know what a well, calorie actually, is? Actually, no. I feel like um, I feel like Chef Ramsay definitely would have mentioned calories. I mean, the man Morgan definitely knows because his intelligence yeah. is not low. Zarin, however, <laughs> when, when were yeah. calories discovered? <laughs> I'm looking this up right now. Well, well, see, that's that's the only problem is is that it's it's Hell's Kitchen, and I mean, time's weird in Hell, and also yeah, yeah. it's Gordon Morgan Ramsay, definitely knows. So. The question is, would anyone else know what a calorie? Oh, probably. 18, not. 19, and 1824 in Paris. Well, you know, it is currently 1869, so technically... <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
No, fourteen ninety two. Oh, uh, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Mm hmm. It's actually fourteen ninety three, but yeah. Columbus took a nice big pee. Oh, did he? Did. Yeah, and it was the mass genocide of an entire race of people. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, boy, here we go. Tom, you know how it is, like, when you're on a car trip and, like, you get ten minutes away from home and you really gotta go use the bathroom? Yeah. Think about how it was when his boat finally got ten minutes back from Europe. Oh, my God. You're telling Bro. me he didn't just pee between the bars? Bro, you... <laughs> My man's just went to the side of the boat and was like, hope I don't fall off, and just let it loose. Bro, you, you, it's you, probably you, worse than that. He probably had crew crew that fucking died ten minutes from port. Oh my god. Ten minutes from port, Jesus. Um, he'll take last watch. Okay. Yeah, Rebecca will... Rebecca, no, Rebecca will take first watch. Uh, second watch, because um, the four-hour... Yeah, Zaren will take first because like he's not hurt at all and didn't get hit. Dramada will help okay. though. Alright, Zaren, make me a perception check at advantage. Okay. Do that once. Wh what were you saying, soccer? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> uh Zaren. At yep. one point. Far to the north, you hear a draconic roar. I do not. I do not. You do. <laughs> it like, is the new well like, of dragons. Like a, like a dragon? Yeah. Yeah. Far what else does draconic north. mean? How how far? Um, the echo barely reaches your ears. Um, it's very quiet. Reasonably, with this growth concern. I mean, dragons are fast. You have no in information on where it was going. Oh, fuck. That's, that's uh, completely up to you on if it causes concern. Um, um, you can talk to Rebecca through Andromeda. Rebecca. Yep. I just heard a fucking dragon. Well, we are near the new well of dragons. There's no reason to think that they know we're here. We live on a farm. There's going to be cows. I. Are you sure? If we hear it closer, like a lot closer, then that's time to panic. But for now, if you could barely hear it, it's fine. I didn't say I could barely hear it. Well, I didn't hear it. I mean, okay, I'll just I'll just sit back and uh, continue. <laughs> Um, does it happen again on my watch? It does not. Rebecca! Go ahead and make me a perception check in advantage. <laughs> uh, technically my long rest is over, so, uh, my point of exhaustion is gone. Uh, your long rest is not over. It still takes you eight hours. It takes hours. me four hours to do it. It takes you four hours of an activity, but a long rest this duration has not changed. Same with elves. You can finish a long rest in four hours. Yeah, as oh, a reborn. Is it actually different than elves? Yeah, as a reborn. You can finish a long rest in four hours. Okay. My bad. Uh, Perception! Fucking nerds. Oh. <laughs> I'll take the 19! Oh! Good thing you had advantage. Rebecca, you hear three draconic roars to the north. <laughs> Uh, in fairly quick succession to each other, not spread out throughout your rest. All right, we probably should don the uh, uniforms tomorrow. <sighs> uh, you hear them again at the end of your rest, right before you're going to wake Morgan. <laughs> Poke. Oh. You might hear some dragon roars in the distance. <laughs> probably because we're near the uh, new well of dragons but uh, come tomorrow we're probably going to have to put on uh, those robes yeah figures though they don't believe me but if you can hear dragons from here that doesn't mean it probably means that they've at least seen dragons well they've seen dragons but what you told them wasn't about dragons <laughs> 
Yeah, you told him that the monster people... You tried to start people... a war with Kyle and Sean. Oh, no, that is Kyle and Sean. You tried to start a war with, um... The monster nation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, I had said... I didn't say anything about dragons. I said that they were... Um... Working with the cult of the dragon in the area. It's true. Yeah, I, sa I said that the... Uh, a group from the monster nation was working with the cult of the dragon in the area and that they were planning an attack on Ish Ishparta. So, I mean, yes. like, I didn't fully lie. But that's besides the point. He'll, uh, yeah, he'll get up and take I'll, the I'll just tell you, the wanted poster has been going on for a while and has been going up in value as <laughs> as you they have yet to find you. <laughs> I never thought I'd have to come back here until the literal end of the world. So, holy <laughs> fuck, how big would that bounty have been then? We'll find out. Holy shit. Next yeah, time on Dragon out. Ball Z. Uh, Morgan, uh, go ahead and roll that perception check at advantage. This time Rebecca's actually helping you because she's up. Morgan, you hear a howl off to the east. Joined hmm. shortly after by uh, ten more howls. As as far as the dragon noises. Oh, there's no way that could travel as far as the dragon. No, much much closer. Much closer. Not like right on top of you, but not very far off. Uh, the howls are not. One of the ha the first howl, and the other nine, or the other ten rather. Uh, are in separate locations. But the tin all seem to be from fairly close to together. Um, to the east. Huh. Um, he would... I could um, send the drop it invisibly off that way. Yeah, he'd be like, maybe check that out. Yeah, Andromeda, yeah, you want to go take back, a look? No <laughs> Make sure we aren't okay. being besieged by wolves. Okay. As long as you stay invisible, it should be fine. If uh, if Morgan looks at the poster, does it is it like a really good rendition of him, or is it just like a generic rendition of him? It is. It is a pretty good rendition. Oh, son of a bitch! They got the sketch artists up in this pitch. The, the guy you're talking to in the shop, he had the keen mind feet. <laughs> I, <laughs> and he was know, a bard. <laughs> you, you don't make it very far in the military without remembering things, so I wouldn't be surprised. He ingrained my face. Bro, I said at the Lord's Alliance that my, <laughs> my title was Omni and Special Forces. <laughs> How have they not come for me? Um, um, Om does not have a delegate at the... That's right. Oh my god. You're lucky. Holy shit, am I lucky? Oh boy. Okay. Uh, Andromeda reports finding a group of ten. Half-wolf Half humanoid creatures. What? <laughs> oh. Oh, that's a werewolf pack. Uh, which that way? They're shortly joined by another much larger half wolf, half humanoid. Uh, this is about. Well, where she finds them is about. 800 feet to your east. Um, they don't seem to be heading specifically in your direction. Okay, let's just stay quiet. Drama to stick with them. Uh, roll stealth for Andromeda. An advantage. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Good check. Okay. She uh, tails them for a while. Uh, 
uh, they eventually enter a cave uh, right before day breaks. Hey, I'll I'll bring her back. As you snap her back, there's a scream from inside the cave. Oh God! <laughs> Nothing we could do for them. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, morning comes and uh, everyone wakes up. Ah, uh, good morning. Morning. All right, uh, let's avoid a cave that's that way. <laughs> and uh, Morgan, you want to break out the robes? Oh yeah, I got you. Uh, you guys put those on, and uh, I'll um. Glamoured, studded leather, uh, a robe. Oyrin is swimming in this robe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll um, I'll I'll hem like, it with like a kid trying on his father's suit. <laughs> I'll 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 hem it with my dagger. Okay. Oh, thank God. Bless you. Um, oh, uh, Zarin, can I have my cloak back? Oh, yeah, sorry. Here you go. Thank you. And now we approach. At a normal pace. <laughs> We're yeah. going to have to be really careful. Mm -hmm. uh, there is still a few days travel through the forest. Uh, well, a couple days. So, go ahead and mark off a set of rations for yesterday, and another one for today. And I want stealth checks from each of you. Oh, Jesus, this is going to be a disadvantage. <laughs> I'll put a uh, knowledge from a past life onto that. Oh, that's actually not a bad roll. That, that's pretty good for having played on. And only a plus one to dex. Oh, uh, you don't... Wait, what kind of armor do you have? Um... Because plate doesn't. Oh, that's Chain stealth. Off. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm thinking the AC. Uh... Very good. You do hear several more roar roars throughout the day, getting closer and closer, but you are heading in that direction. Um, night comes. Much the same noises as the previous night. I'll, um... Kind of make our camp a bit um, more hidden uh, to help protect from the wolves. Okay. Um, very good. Uh, make a survival check, please. Not a wisdom-based stealth check? <laughs> no. Fifteen. Fifteen. Not bad. Okay. Uh, the, the howls are much further off tonight, and you don't seem to be bothered. Uh, day dawns again, and give me an, one more stealth roll from everyone. Oh, definitely put in 15. That's terrible for Rebecca. Not horrible <laughs> uh -oh. still, but, um... <sighs> Andromeda carry us! Okay. Um, Dylan? Dylan? 
Can I uh, use favored by the gods? <laughs> you can. Thank you. Dylan, roll stealth. Hmm? Oh, shit, my bad. Sorry, I just got back. You're good. Oh, good roll! That's a 16 now. <laughs> Zarin tied for... No, Zarin yeah. tied for the stealthiest. On this day. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> um, by the time night is falling, you enter familiar territory. You recognize these woods from your previous venture here, uh, Rebecca and Morgan. Okay. So you are very close. Uh, I've glamoured the cloak. I don't know if I can... The, not the cloak, the robes. Uh, I don't know if that includes the mask and hood. Uh, it would include the hood. Oh no, would it? No, I don't think it would. Because it's the clothes changing form. I could say, I'd say it reasonably includes the hood, but the mask would be a separate. Yeah, I'd have part. to mask a many faces that. And the first chance I get, I'm nicking a, a uh, available one. Um. All right. There is a lot of activity going on as you keep watches this night. Um, constant sounds of things flying overhead things um, what sounds like carriages rolling across uneven ground a uh, little ways to the north I'll have Andromeda um, invisibly as a um, fly up and then when she gets closer uh, turn into a spider and make her way up I, okay. Uh, a rat, not a not a spider. Okay. Uh, make your way up, like up a tree, or up to the north. North. Okay. To get an idea of what's going on. Uh, she sees quite a few carriages. Uh, this would be a train of about a dozen carriages. Uh, some seem to be laden with. Most of them seem to be laden with uh, construction supplies, as well as excavation, uh, pickaxes, shovels, and the like. Uh, and quite a bit of, quite a number of barrels that seem to be being watched very closely. Um, the last two, the contents are completely covered by large tarps. Hmm. Uh, are the people in the carriages like disguised as cultists or do they look like average people um they are a mixture okay they yeah there it's a it's a mixture it tends towards more that are in the robes uh, robes and masks, but there is a mixture. Hey, I'll have her kind of scurry through the brush towards the uh, little pond. Okay. All right. Uh, she makes it there. The carriages are not going to the pond, though. Where are they going? Uh, they're going to a place about 500, uh, 500 yards away uh, to the north and slightly west. The book did tell us to go to the place we once visited, which was... Yeah, 500. <laughs> no, that would be 500 meters. <laughs> At that point, there's definitely a difference. 
It's uh, 457 meters. So 457 blocks. Or if you're doing the way I build D&D &D maps in Minecraft. In Minecraft. <laughs> Uh, different. <laughs> you know, if, if you do the way I build things in my the my D and D maps in Minecraft, it would be a uh, nine hundred blocks. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, six hundred blocks. Oh yeah, no, this is just Andromeda. I thought we were all stopping up for some stupid. But yeah, uh, Andromeda gets to where the pond surrounds a small island and up into the mountains. The waterfall running into it. Yeah, she'll um, scurry through tall grass towards like the side of the mountain and then start and then turn into a spider to like make her way along the bottom of the uh, mountainside. Okay. She'll have to cross the stream or climb all the way up and around the waterfall. Uh, she could probably um, do it as the rat to cross the stream and then spider her way over. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make me a... Just roll a d20 for me. Okay. Uh, she does find that when she gets off out of the water and onto the other side, one leech stuck to her stomach. The leech is not invisible. Uh, if she shapes into a spider, does it drop off? Because her body changes shape. I'll say sure. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, she makes her way into the uh, the entrance that you up and into the entrance that you had previously got into. All right, just spider casually. Spiders are common in places like this. Just go along the ceiling through corners. And just take a look around. Okay. Uh, crawls past the doorway that led to the office uh, where you had, I believe, got in the cult robes. Uh, we got them from the, the barracks that were right by the entrance. Oh, right, right. Office, then barracks. I had to the chase Tia into the office. <laughs> Right. The office is where you had found the scrap of cloth matching that left behind when you had brought the dragon scales to Waterdeep. Yep. Um, down the hallway into the main office that you chased Tia into. That was at the end of the hallway. Uh, hooking around to the left, passing what seems to be kitchens and dining halls. Are there people moving about in here, or is it abandoned? There is, and it is a lot more bustling than when you had previously been here. Are they all in cult uniform? Yes. Okay. Um, all of them that you have seen that you have seen through Andromeda are in black robes. Black robes, though with various masks. Um, what are the no, robes? No, that... wears of purples. Okay. Yeah, our, our robes are all black. Yes. Yes. Um, continuing around, there's more sleeping quarters. There's a room that seems to be completely to have um, just from what she, you can see from the door way, a good two dozen cultists inside of it. Uh mm, Many of them looking to be guards, the rest standing around a table with some kind of map on it. 
she can uh would she continue down the hallway or um get into that room see if they're talking about anything specific okay so she's a spider a visible spider invisible invisible okay so make me a stealth check at advantage <laughs> spider stealth whatever, whatever a spider stealth is oh shit i need to look at what a spider stealth is Um, a spider has a plus four stuff. So. Uh, so just subtract one, I guess. A couple of the guards look around, but can't notice anything. They seem to have heard something, but then wrote it off. A spider loud enough to make noise? Like, I imagine she's like the size of a house spider. <laughs> It's the two that are literally around the door. With you don't know that they heard. They seem to have sent something, and then wrote it off. Okay. Um, but yeah, she crawls across the ceiling, and it is indeed what appears to be a map of some kind of underground. Uh, cavern. Does the layout seem to be matching what we're what what she's been going through? No. No. Okay. Um. Rebecca will. Um. Uh. Do I have anything to write with? I'll um. Mm -hmm grab Orem's book if he's still sleeping and um, tear out one of the pages in the back that's blank and start like drawing the map on it. Okay. Did you uh, just you take a not... page out of my book? Yes, I needed a piece of paper. <laughs> uh, it, it is the book with the history of Amphail cows on it. <laughs> it just a blank page. Right over, Oiren. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, do you, do you like exit Andromeda's vision to do this? Then? Yeah, I, I'm flipping back and forth. <laughs> okay, then yeah, that's fine. I was picturing you just like blindly reaching over. Um, okay. There's lots of people leaning over the table and looking at things, so you can't get the full picture. But the it seems to be um. Almost like six six chambers laid out like a five pointed star. Um, but each of those, each of the uh, chambers on the outside seem to also be somewhat star shaped. Okay, it's fractal. All right, once it's done, I'll have her. Uh, and they're not talking anything. Uh, it would be too quiet for her to really hear. Okay. Uh, once uh, once I'm done, I'll have her start continuing on through the the base. Okay. Uh, you pass more sleeping quarters, as well as what appears to be storerooms and larders. Uh, before finding a staircase that heads down. Okay going down the stairs opens up into uh still what you would best describe as a hallway though this time a good 30 feet wide with a 20 foot ceiling and long enough that it exits her dark vision range 120 feet as a spider oh that's a I, th I think she... No, she keeps her senses. Oh, does she? Its statistics are the uh, same in each form. Uh, then, yeah, it's... Uh, it's. It would be right on the edge of her vision. She'd see the far wall. Okay. Uh, there are a large number of doors heading off of this room. On each of the four walls. 
All right, uh, spider your way through them. Okay. Uh, which which of the three? Which of the four walls would you have her go to first? Of uh, the left wall. Okay. Uh, so working your way left uh, along the wall, the way. staircases. There is what appears to be some sort of alchemical room. There's a lot of the same reagents that you've seen uh, Oiren using, as well as that you saw in the uh, the academy in Omu. Is there anyone in there? This room would have about a dozen people in it right now. Okay. Uh, have her leave. It was empty. Yeah. I was going to have her go to Imp and knock something over and then go back to Spider and leave. Um, the next one is a short staircase down that goes down about six feet. Yeah. Uh, she had to crawl under a door to see into this one. The other one had an open doorway. Uh, when she gets down there, she sees what you would best describe as a a small plane of what Morgan described seeing in his visions. Stone slabs uh, made of a different stone set into the stone floor. Uh, go into the room a bit more. Look around. See if it's all like that. It is. It would be... You're not sure exactly, uh, because they're not in. It's not like a perfect grid. Uh, but there's several dozen of them in here, as well as one cultist. Who seems to be walking what around. What color is the mask? What color is the mask? What color was the mask in your vision? Red. It's red. Bingo, boys! We found it! <laughs> Alright, check the other rooms just in case. Okay, there was a good another, like, two dozen rooms. Um, but... We've got time, it's overnight. <laughs> cut, cutting to the chase, you do not seem to find another room like this. Alright. Most of the rooms have too many moving entities. Or too, um... There's too much light and stuff for you to feel comfortable sending her into. Because uh, Invisible still casts shadows. Really? I would imagine. I thought light just passed through you. I don't know. I've been trying I to figure out it's... if it's active camo or if it's uh, so real invisibility. But if it's real invisibility, you can't see. Well, it's magic invisibility. <laughs> right. Right. It's, yeah, it's, you're, it's you're right. The rules is written, you technically wouldn't be able to see, but rules is interpreted, you could, but I think also... No, because rules... invisibility makes light pass through the target, so the target does not cast a shadow. Yeah. Oh, okay. But yeah, uh, most of them have a lot of activity, and most of them are very quiet. All right, and not like the one that I... The, the, the main one that we're after. Right. But yet, the, uh, the figure in the uh, the slab room seems to be just walking around and occasionally writing in a notebook. Uh, were there any signs to indicate what that room was? There has not been a single sign in this building. All right. Or this complex. But yeah, you uh, you have her just stay there for the rest of the night, or what? I'll snap her back. Okay. All right. Don't want her accidentally discovered. And around this time would be daybreak. All right, Morgan. It's there. There's a. What? 
cultist with a red dragon mask patrolling a mausoleum of sorts. A crypt. Just like what you described. And, and okay. there's only, like, a lot of cultists in there. Which is why we're going in disguised and quietly, not guns blazing as much as I would like to. We would need an army to take on the amount that's there. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> the Oirim... Yes. Oh, um, I did rip out a blank page of, from my yeah. book, so I'm really sorry. Uh, 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 but I needed to make okay. this. I hold up a map. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it was important. Yeah, it, it, I'm sure it'll probably come in important later. But um, mm -hmm. uh, I'll, I'll get you a new page. Okay. Uh, but um, do you think you could whip up some explosives real quick? Uh, can I? I don't know. Is that something I can do, Bean? Out here in the woods? In the woods. In the woods, yeah. Not in a, not in a way that um, wouldn't be making noise. <laughs> Wood. Okay. <laughs> the wood, man. All right, I guess uh, I guess we're going in. All right, uh, all right so let's first actually I, establish our cover story. I will say, uh, Rebecca, make me a straight wisdom check. Oh, boy. I'll add a d6 onto that. 12. No, 11. <laughs> Can't count. Is Oren using one of his flash of geniuses on that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so 15. Rebecca. From spatial awareness, and it really wasn't that, that of a DC. Um, you think that that might be within the 500 foot range? That room, if you were in the, uh, if you went to the island in the middle of the lake. So, could dimension door in and or dimension door out? But only two people would be able to do that. saying this out loud we'll never know uh yeah only two people could go and it's only one way no i think um i think we can probably walk our way through I can make fireworks. <laughs> Maybe later. Or... <laughs> All right. Uh... All right. Let's establish our cover story. Um, we were dispatched by our cell leader to retrieve the body of a elven diviner that um, he requires to find a valuable artifact for the cause. Okay. Zaren, will you be keeping on your plate, your your heavy armor underneath this robe? I think I will. Okay. Let's put I will your. Say it does make the armor, the cloak, look pretty clunky, and it is noticeably making noise when you walk. I I, I think I still will. Uh, okay. uh, at least put your shield in the um bag of holding. Um. If I put it on my back, will it look weird? Like, it already cloak, looks obviously. fairly weird. Uh, that would make it look very weird. Okay. Uh, I shove it in the bag of holes. Unless you're trying to pose as a turtle. Ooh. Cultist turtle, let's go! <laughs> uh, it's it's cultist uh, turtle time. You have never... None of you have ever seen a turtle in the cult. It's turtle in time. <laughs> Bean, what are you talking about? What about you know who? Granny? Mm, no. Granny's a member of the cult of the dragon. 
Yeah, Granny. Uh, oh, the, the, old, the guy that lost his legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Cornelius. Cornelius, Cornelius is actually a member of the Dragon Cult. It's fucking Cornelius yeah. is actually the leader. He's yeah, he's the leader of the Dragon Cult. He he is the crucifix with the five diamonds. It's actually Patterson. It's not Patterson. I can promise you. Patterson's something else. You don't want to know what Patterson is. I'll He's uh, Chicken Pox's alter ego. <laughs> chicken Pox's boss. Yeah, he's Chicken Pox's boss. Alright. Okay. So, try, trying to walk in and just act like you, you belong. Yep. Everyone make me performance checks. Zarin's is at disadvantage. Ah. Uh. What if I get into the act? You do realize that <laughs> they're up? not all old people, right? <laughs> I'm a all... total. <clears throat> I mean, uh, they're all old. They have a very short lifespan. <laughs> what am I performing? Uh, you're you're acting like you belong. <laughs> you're you're trying to. Wouldn't act that like be a deception? Leader. I mean, you're not. You're not. If anything, it would be charisma-based deception. Deception well, is charisma based. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Never mind. No, it would not be. Uh, I mean, either way, I got it too. Are you yeah. attempting deception? No, because you're not. You're not. No one is has making you stop and talk to them. Okay. I, I'm gonna roll this as performance. If anyone does stop us, so. you can't flash yourself though. Mm, is that? Drops my drawers. Is four points gonna do anything? It'll help. <laughs> Make it not as bad. Alright, I'll flash it. <laughs> I'll flash him. Make it And then six. Andromeda's going in invisible. She's, she needs to make she's invisible in my cloak. On my shoulder as a spider. Just okay. sitting there. Uh, make an advantage stealth check with a plus ten. <laughs> Thirty-three. More stealthy than Rebecca has ever been. <laughs> yep. I can't get that stealthy yet. All right. Um. No one stops you in the entry hallway. You two do know that the the head office is the one right at the end of the hallway, like straight ahead at the end of the hallway. Um. Should we check in? Have I seen anyone check in while Andromeda was going through here? Uh, there was some seemingly new arrivals that did go in there and were right. asked what their business here was. Yep. All right. Follow me. Okay. All right. Uh, without without looking up, um, the person at the desk goes. Uh, rank, cell number, vocation, and orders. Oh, God. Um, how many days ago did we um, do Mistwoods? The Misty Forest? Misty Foot Was. Forest. Uh, let me check my notes. I have this. Uh, you fought Chuth. Uh, this is one more day than I've down. Uh, 24 days ago. Almost a month ago. Okay, can't use that. Um, what I've learned from the, um, uh, from my research into the cult. Um, do I know their names of ranks and what general like cell number numbers are? Uh, you have never encountered cell number. <clears throat> okay. Uh, but ranks you have. Uh, you you don't know all of them. You know that like the top 
is the worm speakers. Yep. Uh, you know that the the ones of you know that there's initiates, which you uh you changed a man's name and his whole family's name to all be the same name. Um, uh, and then you know you know that in some order there is Dragon Claw, Dragon Fang, Dragon Wing, and Dragon Soul. Okay. Um, Dragon Claw. Um, Erebor. Actually, what was the order that um, they said? Uh, the order was rank, cell number, location, orders. Okay. Dragon Claw, 248, Erebor, collect the corpse of an elven diviner to locate, to assist our leader in um, finding an artifact that will be useful for the cause. Make me a deception check. Don't be afraid to flash a genius that too. <laughs> uh, I can flash a genius at. Okay. So that'll be a 27. Yeah, yeah, you do you currently do not get that bonus stone. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it too, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh let's think here. Okay. She pauses. Well, from the voice you assume it's a she. Pauses for a moment. Is the... Are you all together? Yes. Morgan just nods. There are initiates under my command. And, okay. What mask color did you mask many faces yourself with? Uh, probably red. Red. Okay. And what what were the other? Do you remember what the other colors were that you had, Dylan? Green. I think uh, it was two greens and a blue. Two greens and a blue. Does that sound right? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> well, it seems like you were sent on some fool's errand. You must have just got out of being initiates. No one's died here. We were told that a long time ago, an elven woman who was a diviner was killed in the... Oh my god! Forlorn Hills. Yeah, Forlorn Hills. And her body was entombed here long ago. About two or three years ago. And... We were sent here to collect it. Again, I believe you were sent on a uh, fool's errand as a sort of initiation. No one is buried here other than dragons and dragon kin. Morgan would just go, <clears throat> can we at least get some food and rest we did travel a bit of a ways we're already full here you can get some provisions from the mess hall and some rations from the quartermaster and then you need to be back on your way alright very well holy shit this dude is snoring yep. yo Tom yeah what's up you were snoring what? That was so quick. <laughs> I was literally listening this whole time, bro. Oh, then you were breathing dummy hard. <laughs> you were definitely snoring. Dude, I've been listening this whole time. Then what were we just saying? Yeah, what were we just saying? <laughs> what? 
I did, I did doze off a second. <laughs> All right, you're just saying, you just saying, yeah. like, why you gotta be like that? Come because, on, like, man. It, it, just, it got like right in the ear, and then I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, and she motions for y'all to go out as another. Yeah. Another group of three is walking in behind you. Yeah. Well, I guess head off down the hallway that um, I assume is the mess hall in the. Actually, I know. Yeah. Uh, Morgan knows exactly where they. Are. Yeah, I'll, I'll head. <laughs> we'll head off in that way, but we won't stop there. You know, he does not stop for food this time. He's he's a man on a mission. Okay. Morgan, you do not want to know where you're going past the mess hall. <laughs> Just follow Rebecca. She's right in front of he you. He determinedly wa follows Rebecca. <laughs> okay. All right, Rebecca, you lead them down around a few bins, down a staircase, and to the door that you had previously uh, found the short staircase in. The hallway this time has three carts in it and you're not sure how they got it down here hmm. they are all empty or at least empty from what you can see from here all right in here all right hmm. head on in uh as soon as you begin descending the steps halt from inside the room from inside the room. Okay. Oh no. Stop. No one's supposed to be in here. We were sent to recover a body. That is required for our mission. Make a deception check at disadvantage. Mm. <laughs> okay. Oh. I'll throw on a D6. <laughs> you know what? Imagine I use silvery barbs. I will kill you. Yeah, I'd kill you. In <laughs> game <laughs> and real life. Then whoever sent you is a fool. All bodies here are spoken for for the ritual. Um, Morgan, I'll just say, then can we like get you to sign a document or something so that we're not going back empty-handed? Okay. And at this point, you'd still be up at like the first couple steps of the staircase. <laughs> um. Morgan. Roll, roll me a, uh, a, a straight d20 roll. Okay. So, that, that, I actually have to open your sheet at this point. Because I don't... Because that's close enough to maybe be correct. Morgan. Meet me in secrets. Oh my god. Oh, oh shit. All right. We're in the belly of the beast. <laughs> We're so fucked, bro. Draconic. Why? Why is there an elven woman here? Good question. Unless she's not an elven woman, she actually was like a dragon in disguise. That would be pretty bad. You started to say something. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. I was, I was just. Uh, <clears throat> well, Rebecca, you notice that as Morgan 
asks that question, like immediately after he asks that question, he, his face just like locks up in thought. I mean, we can't see his face. Right. You watch. You watch his. <clears throat> You've you've known him long enough <laughs> to notice the change in like his posture and just the way he went quiet immediately and didn't step forward after asking that. No, now get out of here. Oh, it's probably gonna be a really bad idea. It's just. It's basically just down the stairs and through the door? There is no door. The door was at the top of the stairs. Oh, so we've already gone... started to go down. Yes. I've casted Banishment. On who? The guy. Uh, you Can cannot we... see them. You're at the top of the stairs. Oh, I can't see them. Okay. You had Morgan go down first, and it's the stairs going down six foot. And Morgan is only a couple steps down. Morgan is going to rush down the stairs. You see and... Morgan start bum rushing. All right, yeah, I'm go I'm following and drawing Cyrus and activating it. Oh God, Morgan, He's... you feel radiating heat from behind you. Oh, okay, oh, like like from Cyrus or like yes, from, from Cyrus. Okay. <clears throat> um, he will immediately like just sprint into the room and like, do I see this person? Well, you see a cultist standing about 30 feet from you and uh, holding a wand pointed directly at you. Get his ass. All right. He's, he's, he's making a beeline straight Roll for initiative. the cultist. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. Here we go. Fuck. It's cultist time. I use my last um, D6 to add to my initiative. Oh, okay. It's like my token. Sorry. Um, so, what is that, Rebecca? 17.217. What's up with my point something or another? That's oh, your dex tiebreaker. Tie it has the tiebreaker on it. Oh. Um, and the other one is hidden. Uh, Oyerin. <laughs> yep. You're, you're first. You just saw Rebecca and Morgan start bum rushing down the stairs, and you're standing in the doorway at the top. There is no map. There is no map. Okay, I gotta this use my theater call, of mind. This is what we call theater of the mind. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Um. Oh god. A hot spot. Hot. Hot seat. Uh, you saw Rebecca draw her radiant sword. Okay, uh, I'm this at the top of the This might actually be stairs. the first time you're seeing Cyrus Actually, y yes it is. Uh, it's basically, she pulls a sword off her belt. That's broken. But that's just a hilt. There's nothing else. And as she starts running, you see it extend out of it uh, for soccer. Kind of like a lightsaber. Nice. Okay. Um, so you said I'm on a staircase. Yes, you're in the doorway at the top of a six-foot staircase. Do I have eyes on the person? No, you'd have to go down to see them. Okay, I'm gonna follow down the stairs, and I'm gonna position myself in a way that I have um, vision and range on with a crossbow. Okay, uh, you see, you get to the bottom of the stairs and like get a little bit around Rebecca, who's yep. standing at the in the base. Um, and you just see a cultist in a red mask pointed a, pointing a wand directly at Morgan as something be is beginning to glow from the front of the wand. It's probably a wand of disintegrate. <laughs> um, can I, um, can I take a, sh um, can I try and shoot his hand? You can. It's a uh, shot. It'll be a, it's a called shot, so it'll be at disadvantage. Okay. Uh, all right. 
Okay, sorry. Okay. One more time. I just roll it again. Okay, fifteen. Uh, fifteen. Hit. It hits. Uh, so roll damage. Okay. Uh, the bolt tears through. It it just misses their hand itself, but it you can see it cut across their arm and tear their robes. Uh, um, you do do some some good damage there. Okay. Um. Okay, so that's that's an action. The crossbow is an action. Yes. Uh, I just want to see if there's any damn that's action. Shit. Okay, I guess I'll, I'll end my turn there then. Okay. But I'll be back. Um. <clears throat> so after that crossbow bolt would have like went by remember you're in full you... robes and no one can really see you see me right oh, wait wait what do you mean like they can't see your face or your body you're in full body robes with a mask right he's gonna hold his hand up and just yell stop he was like... just shot with a crossbow bolt <laughs> Morgan was saying that to you. To me? Well, to you three. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Morgan, Rebecca, and Oiren, I need dexterity saves. Oh, oh God. It's a fucking fireball. <laughs> hey, yo! Damn! <laughs> God, I love monks. <laughs> I'll pass. And why doesn't it have where I can auto roll it? Is it a fireball? It is, but I don't remember how the leveling works on it. All right, uh, it's it's eight d eight d six, and then it's one d six per level. Uh, can I can I see it being casted? You're at the top of the stairs currently. Can I see yeah. it be casted? You can see it be casted. Counterspell. Oh, yeah. You're gonna have to roll for it. Okay. Wait, what level did you say you're casting it yeah, at? Fifth level, because that's the highest okay. I can. You're gonna have to roll for it. Okay. What fucking level is this at? Hi. Holy shit! Please be good. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Fuck! Flash of genius, please. <laughs> holy shit! We're gonna have him burn through these. We'll be burning. Flash of genius. Uh, counterspell. This, this is about... He counterspells the counterspell! <laughs> what? Uh, and we'll roll for it. Who's counterspelling? Holy shit. The, the one that's casting the fireball. And you can't see him. Uh, with the modifier. Because you cast at fifth level. So I can only cast at fifth level. Or first. Right. Right. Um... And that is a ant mod. Uh, that's a 17. Fuck. Well, we're getting blasted. Holy we shit. might have to stab the bag of holding to get out of here. You you all succeeded. You take 21 damage. Okay. Oh. 21 fire damage. That That's already halved. Remember, it goes through your temp HP first. Oh my god, you're right. Um, and you don't have a... Do you have evasion, Morgan? Um, do I... I yeah, you do. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. so you half it again to 10. Oh. So it was just your temp HP. <laughs> so it's just my temp HP. Okay. Right, temp uh, HP is gone. Actually, no, it, it burned It burned over... Um, oh, actually, no, no, you're right. You're right. It was just my temp. Yep, yep. Zarin, you're at the top of the six feet of stairs. I'm right, going to go to the bottom of the six feet of the stairs. Okay. Uh, you'll I'm have still to get holding at my the hand bottom. Up. Yeah. Are you still after 
the burns. Like still holding it up after I've been burned. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You see that you see, um, Morgan still holding a hand up after saying "wait" or "stop." Saying, and you see the he, you saw the, what was that? He's saying "stop" to us. Yes. Yes. He shouted back to you three, "Stop!" and is holding up his hand. That was before the big ball of fire that just went off. Yeah, yeah. But he's still holding it up. He's still, yeah, like, he, he seems a little hurt, but yeah, he's, he's, well, I mean, it was temp HP, but it's still whatever, but, you know. Uh, you still, didn't take any damage, actually. Yeah, technically, he didn't take any damage, so yeah, so he's just still just kind of standing there, like, you know. Now, if I hold an action, does that count as a reaction? I use your reaction to use, trigger it, to use it. Yeah, but you have to specify the trigger. But you, you're not locked into that, so you can use your reaction before, and then just the hold that held action goes away. Okay. Um. If so, like, let's say, like, if they do do the trigger, can I just say, you know, I don't want to do it anymore? But I'd lose the slot, right? You lose it, yeah. If you, you lose, your slot is used as soon as you call it. If you um, if you're holding a spell. Okay, but I could a still say like. Spell. I, but I could just say like, okay, uh, counter spell. Counter, yeah, yes. you can decide to counter. Yeah, spell you can it. you can drop you can drop the one. Uh, and the other thing about holding a spell is that you are concentrating on it. Okay. So if you do take damage, you'll have to roll a concentration check. But yeah, well, you can do you can do what you're asking. You just have to mark off the slot for what you're holding. Can I can I hold an action on a cantrip? Yeah. Yes. All right, cool. I'm gonna hold as long my as it's action. an action spell. It's gonna be firebolt. Okay. Uh, What's firebolt it? at at the cultist. If he attacks again. If they attack again, okay. And uh, he's gonna move within like ten feet of everyone. Um, the only one you can't do that with, you can get Rebecca and Oiren, or you can get Morgan. I'll go, I'll get Rebecca and Oiren. Okay. Rebecca. I will hold an Eldritch Blast for if, um, uh, if this guy proves hostile at, after whatever the hell Morgan is trying to do. Okay. Morgan. Okay. <clears throat> he is going to... He's going to do... He's going to do this. You're going to run up to them? I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to get... Would I be able to, with my movement, get within... Uh, they're. F I said they were fifty feet from you. I, I my movement. So I think is fifty five. Yeah, fifty five. So. Yeah. So yeah. Um, <clears throat> All right. As you enter their space, they are doing this to you though. Um, sixteen misses as they swing their quarter staff at you. Okay. Um. So essentially, what do I have to do? <clears throat> so I guess I would do it as like an unarmed strike. All right. As part of the grapple action. Well, oh, no, it's no, a grapple, sorry. so it's, right, it's contested. Grapple, so. Athletics check. I, I do athletics? Yep. You do athletics. They choose athletics or acrobatics. Okay. Just because it's part of the grapple. Right. Come on, make money. Oh, that could have been better. Could have been way better. Unfortunately, you do not get them. However, I think you have multi-attack. I do, so I will try again. They rolled a 16. Is it all for the second one, or? Yeah, for the second one. Shit. Um, <clears throat> uh, fuck. Um, So I guess, like, in the sense of this, it's almost, you know, like, I'm approaching, like, I'm trying to grapple them, and then, like, 
when it's not working, he just he'll just kind of stop and he'll take the mask off and he'll just kind of like relax himself. Uh, like still, I guess a little bit tense, but like you know, try and calm it down and like you know, and and he'll have the mask off. And Wait, is this Stella? Just look right at them. This is a cultist who just cast a seventh level fireball at you. Okay. Um. Oh, you're in. Hello. Um. What? How how tall are the ceiling? Uh, the ceiling in here would be. Uh, at the walls it's fifteen feet. In the center of the room, it's twenty feet. Okay. It, it's a very narrow, like pyramidal slope to the ceiling. Okay. Um, I'm gonna cast. I'm going to cast Spider Climb. And I'm going to climb on the wall a little bit. Okay. Yo. Just to get a better, a better angle on everything. Right, because you're short and trying to see over these people. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you make it up the wall onto the ceiling and you make it uh, 25 feet of movement. So you make it another 10 feet out into the room. Okay. On the ceiling now. Yep. Okay. Uh, um, and I'll end my turn there. Okay. The cultist. Morgan, I need you to make a... Uh, what kind of save is this? What kind of save is this? Oh no, Morgan's just gone. What? Morgan's gone. Yep. Spell. Uh, yes. Counter spell. <laughs> what is the range on counter spell? Sixty feet. You are just in range. <laughs> <laughs> Level uh, four. They... Okay, they are going to attempt to counterspell at level three. Counterspell. Uh, so they will roll for it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Which means I drop Eldritch Blast. You drop Eldritch Blast, you drop Firebolt. Yep. Uh, and then with that failing, they will uh Use this as a bonus. Yeah. They, you know, they cast a spell. You're not sure exactly what they did. It doesn't seem to affect any of you. It still went through. No, no, they cast a. They did something else. We, oh. They cast something on them, or cast a message. Zarin. Oh, that's awesome! I used my reaction before my turn. It is true. All right. Um, so I saw who was trying to do it, right? Yeah. It's the one that Morgan is standing right next to. The only one we can see. Morgan is in their face. They're, they're the only one in this room other than you. Okay. Well, it looks like... And you watched Morgan's mask drop to the ground as he reached up to his own face. I think it's time. Uh, what is this? Did you put this on my sheet? What? Corpse Slayer. No, you just we just never took it off of there after you you took it back to the. Yeah, that's your bow. That's the bow you don't have anymore. I swear, I thought I got rid of that. Sorry. Um, all right, cool. <clears throat> uh, this time, because they did attack him, 
I'm going to cast a spell. Uh, I'm gonna hold the dead. And they took damage, so it's a d12. Do you get? Okay, yeah, it is. Uh, question though, do you get reactions back at the start of your turn or end of your turn? Start. Okay. Very Why? Good. Don't worry about it. Because they were going to counterspell you. They weren't going to counterspell a cantrip. Okay, so go ahead and roll that. Good. Okay. Good. Great. Is there a yeah, until the start of your next turn. I'll, I'll what is Toll the Dead? Here. I think there's a save. Wiz save. Wiz save. Wisdom save. Okay. Um, and they have that modifier. I'm going to roll Toll the Dead. Oh wait, no, I don't, I don't have to roll anything. Uh, they grip the side of their head, and then uh, you see a spectral icosahedron float up, and they just don't care. What What did you do? Uh, uh icosahedron is a d twenty. Oh! 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 <laughs> So yeah, so it seemed like it was going to affect them, and then uh, it, it didn't. Is, is it because they passed? No, no. They, well, Some ability they cast on themselves. Yeah, they kind of failed, and then they, they passed. Was it a spell? No. Oh. Fuck. I was about to say, I was going to get silvery barbs. Damn it. Okay. Uh, fuck. Okay, that's uh, that's it for my turn. Okay. Rebecca. Does Morgan still seem like he wants us to back off? Morgan. Dylan. Died. Oh my god! I just realized that I was muted. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Um. I'll approach to be within five feet of them and I'll ready an action to attack with Cyrus, but I won't attack. Uh, the trigger is if Morgan indicates to attack. Okay. Morgan. Um... <clears throat> so so I guess a question for you um, and it's completely fine if I'm not able to do this so like one of the stipulations of the whole monks martial arts thing is that uh, not just for the damage but also you know for the attack they could choose between strength and dex would I be allowed to use dex for the grapple instead of so basically like could I do acrobatics instead of athletics or does it always have to be straight athletics I would say that you can do a dex based athletics role <laughs> If you're proficient in both athletics and acrobatics, then it's yeah, the difference would be if if proficiency matters or not. Yeah, I'm I'm so my acrobatics is a plus eleven, my athletics is a plus two. Is it? Yeah, it's it's just a two because I'm not proficient in it. So so it'd just, okay, so it, it just be a dex check. It would be a dexterity roll instead of a plus two roll. Okay. Um, uh, but it's right. not an it's not an acrobatics. Roll. Okay. Fair. 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 Um. So. Uh, he will attempt once more with the Candlekeep training to essentially judo throw this person. Okay. Come on, roll big. Okay, they need to roll small. <laughs> they roll small. Okay, alrighty. <clears throat> so. Uh, and now they make a saving throw. You have them grappled. Now they make a saving throw. Yes, yes uh, they, they make the saving throw to resist being moved. Uh, my DC is 8 plus prof plus wisdom. So, uh, and it's a plus, strength save. I believe so, yeah. 8 plus 5 is 13. Well, it doesn't matter because they got a 2. However, oh. another shape, the same shape floats up again and they are not moved. Son of a bitch. Um... But I have them grappled, 
I just haven't. You have them grappled. Yes. Right. Would I be able to, as my extra attack, to Attempt move to them? them again? Yeah, can I? Uh, it would be. It's part of a grapple action. Um. You know what? Sure. Okay. So do you want me to roll again, or would that just be another? It's another save on their part. It's I just think. another save on their. Okay. They are thrown. Okay. So cur um, currently, uh, Staircase, Zarin, and Oiren. Rebecca up almost to you. I'm, I'm, I'm adjacent to the guy. You have 50 feet of movement? Uh, I would have had to bonus action dash to get up. Okay. Uh, okay. Then you, with Rebecca right next to you, and then the person. So where are you moving them to? Closer to the door? Or over to next to Rebecca? Or? Probably next to Rebecca. Um, and then what he's going to do is, if I'd, if I'd be able to do this, it's just like the rest of my turn, essentially. Um, uh, <laughs> without, without sounding... Uh, well, who, who cares? People interpret it, whatever. Uh, essentially, he is going to then go over, and I know that it's like weird with the whole occupying spaces thing, so I guess maybe this would be flavor. He's like gonna like mount over this person. I mean, if they're then, prone. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then uh, take their mask off. Okay, make me a sleight of hand roll at advantage, just because they're not they're not gonna actively let you. Um, okay. Try to like take them. Yo, thank you. Yeah, 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 you take you take their mask off. Um. You see. Uh, you and Rebecca. And. I'll say Oiren, but it's it's harder for Oiren to see because he's further away. But it's because he's on the ceiling. He can see. Uh, see a very pale elven female with uh, silver hair. <gasps> with silver hair? Do I know who that silver is? Hair. <laughs> However, Morgan... Uh, Rebecca, you see a look of recognition in Morgan's eyes. And also... Morgan would be very sad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he would be. Does it look like the way he described Stella? Stella was yes. always Stella has red uh, hair. somewhat tan and with red hair. Okay, so this might be his mother or a sibling. Uh, Dylan, do you understand or do we need to go to secrets? <laughs> I, let's I let's said go to secrets. I was, okay, I was going to say, yeah, 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 yeah give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is this? It's his second wife. No, he's only ever been with Stella. It... Who the fuck is this? <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> Wouldn't it be like his daughter or something like that? Well, they said pale. And he recognized her. And he definitely would have mentioned if he had a daughter. <laughs> I, it's silver hair, pale. I imagine it's his mother. Or at least someone he's related to. It, does Morgan not look like the profile picture? 
um, so yeah, you would, uh, you would see kind kind of like a, a, a mix of emotions, the, the recognition after taking the mask off and then, um, just, how do I, how do I say this? It's, it's beyond just like sadness, but it's not just for himself. It also seems for her. Morgan looks like he has just suffered emotional damage. Yes, quite literally, he's suffered emotional damage. Um, but it's it, he. It's it's very complex. It, it, it he looks like he's on the verge of tears. I I'd ask you, Bean, is there any recognition from her? The face is full of hate, but no oh, recognition. That is not not powerful. not directed hate, just hate for the sake of hate, and no recognition. However, with with uh with Morton uh, with Morgan's Morgan, make me a perception check, and Rebecca. Okay. Oyerin would be too far away for this. Holy shit! 20... Morgan, you do yeah. see. A tear in the corner of the eye. Oiren. God damn. It. Yeah. Uh, Morgan's oh. just pinned this person to the ground, ripped their mask off, and is just staring. Um. I have no idea what's happening right now, as Oiren. Uh, so I'm just gonna drink out of my my uh. My water skin, and okay. use that healing. Cure wounds. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you cure wounds yourself. <laughs> I'm going to. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, you heal yourself for five. Well, the water skin heals you for five. Yes. Okay. Um, I think it's your action to activate yep. the item. Uh. Is that your turn? It sure is. Okay. Zarin. All right. Um... You notice that while Morgan grappled and threw to the ground, he did it almost gently. Trying to trying to see how I want to do this. Um, Power word kill. Yeah, basically. Um, Power word kill you. <laughs> can I, I, can tilt am, am I in walking even... range of her? Um, she would be fifty feet from you. Well, forty-five feet from you now. If you dash, you can make it. All right, I'm gonna dash. Okay. So you still have a bonus. But that will use your action. Uh, dashing. I thought dashing used my bonus action. No, only if you're a rogue uh, or a monk that wind. spins key. Okay. Can I take back what I. No, nah, you know, it wouldn't make sense to do it. Okay. Okay. Um, bon Sorry, I didn't, I didn't oh. mean to do that. No, it's okay. Um. Bonus action. Just uh, can't do anything. Okay. Bonus action confusion. Oh, she was supposed to go. Um. It's fine. I don't really do anything. Anyways, I just want to move up to her. Okay. Um. She. Uh, it's gonna do that, and she is casting a spell. What is she casting? Uh, you just see the wand at her side begin to glow with yellow light. That's another fireball. That was orange light. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, this one is pointed directly at Morgan's stomach. <laughs> Uh, Morgan, 25, 19, 16 for, to hit. What, what is it? You don't know. It's probably Scorching Ray. Uh, Dylan, 25 hits. Does a 19 hit? Oh, yeah. Uh, tw 25 hits, uh, 19 wouldn't. Okay. Uh, so only one hits. Uh, uh, Morgan, you take six fire damage to the stomach. Oof. As this figure spits into your face. Rebecca. Morgan, who is this? S Stella. What? This looks nothing like Stella. Uh... Rebecca at this point you would you would remember that she is an Eldrin and you would know enough about elves this is a winter Eldrin right now this is a winter Eldrin Morgan had described to you someone that was usually a autumnal Eldrin uh hmm Detect magic. Um, there's a... Around the face, which is the only thing you can see of her. Uh, around the wand is a strong aura of magic. Around her is two auras that seem to be um, fighting each other. Not fighting each other, but like overlapping each other. Uh, one being enchantment and the other being divination. Oirim, dispel magic on her. Uh, do I have that? <laughs> I don't have that. Oof. You don't have dispel magic! I don't have it uh, yeah, ready. Oh, he doesn't have ready. Any, yeah, someone, control. dispel magic. When it's your turn, <laughs> you you. I, don't know how to cast. I, I should say I said that more for play. You don't think it's really. You think it's more like a curse than a magic. Oh, she's cursed. A cleric. We need a cleric. Remove curse. We need to remove curse on her. I didn't prepare that. Morgan. I can set an alarm. Um, he will, he'll look at her and choking back tears, he'll just, I'm sorry, I, I, I they told me you were dead, I, I should have come sooner, I, but I'm here now, please, just, this isn't you. I'll take my mask off. Fight it. Stella, I'm a friend of Morgan's. Your husband. We're here to help uh, you. Morgan, make me a make me a straight persuasion roll. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! What are the odds? Oh no! About about five percent. <laughs> God damn it! No! <laughs> Damn. There's, that would have been the time for a natural 20. There is no recognition. I'm going to say that that's your bonus if you want to do anything with your action. <sighs> he really, really doesn't want to harm her. Um... And I know that she'll probably just keep. He he knows that right now she'll probably. Oh, just the keep decahedron was the the bloody portents. 
It's oh yeah, that's right. The portents. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I should have I should have realized that. Um, he will hold her there and just look at the others. Uh, like tears, literally just like fighting to come over the edge. Uh, and he's please just do something. Help her. I, I, I don't know what to do. And I, that's it. That's all I really can do. That's all I could bring himself to do. Why, well, I, I don't. Warrior, I have an idea. Get over here. Okay, I run down the wall. Uh, it would. It would Wait, can I dash, drop down? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you dash across the ceiling, you can make it directly above Rebecca, and then you can just drop fall down. Off. Okay, you'll, you'll take do... a little bit of fall damage. I'll but you that. won't make it anywhere near as far as if you uh if you go around the wall and back. Right, down. right. No, I'll I'll drop down on his face. On the Her the cultist face. face. Whose face? I don't know. Who, who, who am I going don't to? Don't jump down on Stella. Oh my god. <laughs> who am I going to? Just Rebecca. Just fall, fall Can I catch ca catch her? Catch him? Uh, make me a. Uh, How far am I falling? Strength saving throw. You're falling like twenty feet. I did roll max damage on that fall damage. Uh, you you do. Yeah, you you managed to uh to slow his fall. With that, uh, you take no damage. Yeah. Arm, do you have a bag of holding? No, what? No? A any extra dimensional spaces? Um. No. I've got a boat! The Damn. folding boat is not extra dimensional. No. Uh, yeah, you do not have anything. Yeah, stabbing the bag is. doesn't open the portal to the actual plane. I just... have a pouch. You can make people <laughs> smile. <laughs> All right. Uh, she is going to. Uh, try to. The, the wand glows yellow again. <laughs> Morgan the Evan Bourbon, the man who came to die. Uh, <laughs> Twenty to hit. <laughs> and yep. a twenty-one to hit. Yep. Okay. The other's an eleven, which definitely misses. Nope. <laughs> uh, you take a total of sixteen points of fire damage as two Oof. rays smash into you. Zarin, your friend looks at a loss, and he's just just mm. taking a beating. He's gonna try it, even though like it might not work. Um, he's gonna go up to uh, Miss Stella and uh, dispel magic. Roll for it. It's um a it's a wisdom check for you. Charisma. A charisma. Charisma. Yep. Ooh, something I'm actually good at. I was thinking cleric, and you are pallid. You don't by chance have an extra. I I think I, I think I do. I think I do. I think I got that favor by the gods. Oh, All fours. Let's wow. go. Yeah. yeah. Is it 2d4? 2d4? Yeah, I'm better roll that. Let's go. 19. 
19 is not bad. It does not seem to have any effect. Oh my fucking god. Mm. Did, did it even pass? There's no spell to. Yeah, to spell. you think it's more of a curse, which is unfortunate given prepared spells. Um. Do any of do do either does anyone have Arcana? I think Oiren does. Like proficient in it? Yeah. Oh, Aaron um, does not. No. Um, Zaren does not. None of us do. Uh, okay. And then Oiren is the only one with religion. <laughs> Uh, Oiren, make me a religion check. Okay, I I gotcha. Oof. It's not bad. Oiren, you've collected a lot of stories in your time. Mm-hmm. That's me. You, you, you don't know how true any of these stories in particular were? Um... And, and this is where Beck kills me IRL for, for corniness. Uh, you have heard of True Love's Kiss Breaking Curses. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe you should try... Wait, no, hang on. Where's my accent? <laughs> so, <laughs> let me reapply accent real quick. <laughs> uh, try, try giving her a kiss. If you uh, think it'll work, sure, it it's worked before, probably. <laughs> I love the extra probably there. <laughs> uh, Beck, what's Rebecca doing other than you killing me, Iro? Uh, no, no, I I find that acceptable, um, uh, given oh, the circumstances, because you know it, we're in a world of magic. Um, Morgan, what's your favorite smell? I offhandedly didn't think of that, but I Petricor. imagine he wouldn't know. Petricor? The smell Isn't that of the dust. Smell of... The smell of dust after rain. That's a lovely the smell. smell. Of dust after rain. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Sometimes it even happens before rain. I'll, I'll say that sure. Uh, pit... Uh, I'll hold my action to uh, prestigitation the scent of Petricor in her nose uh, as Morgan drink? kisses her. Okay. I know you're really mad at me right now and I'm sorry about this baby but and then he's just gonna go right in for it. <laughs> Consent Morgan Jesus fucking Christ. So, it's not sleight of hand. What, what would this be to, like, try to performance. actually get it? Oh. No. no performances. Performances later. No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. She's, like, trying to... Grapple? Acrobatics? Just, just, throw, me a, just throw me a dexterity roll. Okay. Okay. At advantage. Okay. She is brown. Because she's pinned. Yeah, yeah. Awful. Oh no. Uh. She so rolled bad. worse. She oh, rolled worse. What? No way. Morgan, how do you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> it um. That way. Um. <laughs> Oh boy. How do you want to do this lady? Um He would have like kind of panickedly done it, but like when when he started kissing her, like one of his hands, like if he felt like any sort of like lax from her, probably just like would have went and like you know, like held the side of her face while you while he was like kissing her and um Petricor in her nose. Yeah, yeah. I imagine Morgan be smelling it too. I mean, you know, we're kinda of sucking face right now, but yeah, you know, <laughs> Um, you, you watch the uh, aura you saw go away, Rebecca. 
oh, that my my vision of that um, would have gone when I started holding precipitation. Oh, it would because that's concentrate. Yeah. Unless you want to DM rule of cool. Yeah, rule of cool. You see it fade. As your vision of the magical auras goes away, so too does that aura. Uh, she uh, immediately uh, oh, never mind, does not have any healing spells. Wizards uh, don't just... heal. She just uh, reaches up and, and, and hugs you and is, is, is just crying. He, he, he starts crying too. <laughs> I'll, uh, I miss you so much. I'll take my um, cape off and put it on Morgan's. Like, get her outside. Put your masks back on and get her outside. Me, Zarin, and Orin will meet you out there. No, the, the, they're coming. Get, get, get your friends over here. Oh, oh, guys. All right. Um, and she will cast teleport. Yo! You are in the middle of, uh, you're in the middle of Daggerford. Holy shit. Quick, take off our cloaks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy uh, shit. Nope. <laughs> Uh, in cloaks. Oh wait, I couldn't have taken cloak. off a mask because I wasn't wearing one. Well, you got rid of your mask. Yeah, I would have had to. Yeah. Um. She's crying. Morgan, I imagine, is ugly crying. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I drop all my guises, and I help tear the cloaks off of the others. <laughs> As guards are like running in, and a couple of them recognize you. <laughs> she seems like that might be the only coherent thing she can do currently. <laughs> that's that's fair. That's fair. He just he's he's hugging her, probably a little bit tighter than she would like, but um. He, let's 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 get her to the temple. She might need like to be looked at. Alright, yeah, yeah. He'll um he'll like pick her up and still just kinda like holding on to her and head in that direction. Okay. Um even after you take the the cloak off, the clothes she would have under the cloak would also have a lot of cult regalia on them. Oh, oh, right, right, because it was like a disguise, yeah. No, 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 uh, her. Her uniform. Oh, yeah. her uniform, yeah. She's okay. wearing cult, uh, like a cult pendant, and the shirt is, um, has draconic embroidery on it. I'll, um, actually, while they go to the temple, I'll run to a clothing shop and quickly buy some nice clothes for her. Comfortable clothes. Yeah. Uh, I'll say you spend like five gold on a set of clothes, like clothing shoes. Um, accidentally spent a hundred and five gold. <laughs> oh, that's that's a lot of money. If I move far enough away, I lose it. Does it affect it our saving throws? It does not. <laughs> yeah. For some reason, I, I can't figure out why it doesn't here. do that. But I mean, it, it shows. It shows what this. It, it shows on your token that you should be getting it, which is. It's helpful. Good. And it shows what it is. Uh, Luke Sunbright is not here currently, but there are. Uh, I like how the corpses are still outside. <laughs> Four priests. <clears throat> I'm 
Morgan would just be like bringing her in, and he's like, uh, 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 please, somebody, I, I, need, I need a healer. Uh, I'm a healer. I know you're a healer. You need a better healer. He's calling healer. Saul. Better call Saul. <laughs> no, he Was your he wife was... abducted into a cult and cursed to follow their ways? <laughs> better call Saul! <laughs> Saul Goodman, attorney oh, at law. Um, I have, I have healings. Start pairing with Zarin. Start pairing with Zarin. I like <laughs> that. That's a good one. Uh, two of them will run over, and she only has a bit of damage. Well, uh, more psychological. I mean, I, I mean, as far as the healing, um, but they'll they'll mend that. Future. Um, they will. Uh, they'll they'll try to one of them will try to pull you aside, Morgan. Yeah. Uh, he he like very reluctantly will be pulled over, and he's just like, "What? What? What's wrong?" Um, you, you do know that you just brought a cultist in here to be healed. She's she's not a cultist. She's my wife. All right. They 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 had her. We we just, we just barely got out of there. I was planning on stabbing the bag of holding to take us to the astral sea as a get the fuck out of their car. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been fucking. But it wouldn't work because stabbing it just makes all the items go to the astral sea. <laughs> no, we'd lose all of our shit. <laughs> and we wouldn't go anywhere. <laughs> Alright, and I didn't realize it was so late, so I guess we will. I come back with the, the clothes. Time. You do come, you will we'll pick it up next time with you. As you walk Burst. in with the clothes. I, I kick open the door. The door is still open. Morgan did not close it behind oh, himself. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, no. And and Morgan and this this priest would be over here. I guess maybe in that rush of um Stella being like get everyone get over here, I didn't have time to take my cloak off, so I would have like dimension doored out of the shop and then start running towards the temple. <laughs> okay. Very good. Uh, thank you, everybody. Holy fuck, thank Beam. You. <laughs> I, I, you know, when you said that when you're scrying on it on her body, and you're like, oh yeah, you're on a sarcophagus, and there's the cultist with the red mask. I'm like, oh, you know, that's um, okay. They just happen to be in sight. No, it was the fucking cultist with the red mask. <laughs> I, I think, like, I asked that, too. I was, like, one of the times when we got pulled to secrets, I was, like, what, what, do you, what do you think that that's who that is? So I GM rolled, and I rolled god-awful. <laughs> so, yeah. What remains of Cell Umbra lies in the depths of Arlie Ceres Eldrosti, surrounded by dark forces that seek to bring disaster, the likes of which the world hasn't seen in aeons. Her spirit has been unable to find peace. The verdant fields and serpentine forests will lead you back to the once visited staging ground and to your once familiar love. Oh shit! I never yeah, said she was dead. The remains hit me. You said the, the um, spirit can't find peace. I'm like, oh, maybe her body yeah, is being too. desecrated. Yeah, yeah, I thought I thought she was beneath the capstone. I had to, I had to word that very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> you. Ooh. Is that the icon you're using for her? I gave you a no. fucking image. I, I just haven't imported it. That's that's um that's I'll the diviner you. icon. All right. All right. An old right. Chinese man. Yeah. Have a good night. No. Yeah. No. Okay. The one that has an eighth level spell that that's only eighth level spell is Maze and tried to send Morgan to the labyrinth. <laughs> is that actually what that was? That's what the the big where you where I said you disappeared, but then the counter spell counter spell counter spell happened. Oh my god. That was my last 5th level spell slot without using an action to regain it. I was... I was so good, though. Oh my god. When when you took off her mask and she was a silver-haired elf, pale elf, I'm like, is that Morgan's mom? Like... Yeah, my mom was actually the, uh, the, the god of Celestri <laughs> the whole time. That's been converted into the cult somehow. Somehow, somehow. It's it's I mean, all just a ploy. You know, currently the art you sent me would not be correct. Alright, never gonna And I don't and I don't have 
if you don't have different types of elegant as uh, tokens, that's uh, possible. You... If I search winter, all I have is Sildar Hall Winter and Winter Wolf. Look up Winter Eladrin. I must. I, I think I just don't have whatever. I'm saying that Roll20 doesn't have it as a. Oh, yeah, no. A Roll20 token. wouldn't, no. You know, I, I have a picture of Winter Eladrin. Looks like, looks like a blue Elrond. I would love blue Elrond. Uh, that's that's an armor. Yeah, yeah. Looking they're they're in chat. Oh yeah, those ones. Yeah, I want to find. I'm gonna. I'll. I'll uh, well, I'm gonna have, get the pic, your picture into the game. Now we have the um. Uh. The capability of casting resurrection, if need be. She does not have that spell. No, I mean like we have the diamond for it, oh. and we're not using it yeah. on Stella. I will say, not dead, not in any condition to be doing things very soon. Psychologically, yeah, but that gives us time to go down into Under Mountain. Yeah, it's... she can stay with Lorit. Yeah, I'd say as soon as uh, as soon as they say that she's okay to leave Daggerford, he's taking her back to Waterdeep, and yeah, he'd also probably contact the uh, anybody that's still around in the Saviors and let them know that he found her. You stopped keeping up with them after what happened. He he did. Um, you you would remember their names. You do not know where they are or if there's any of them are still alive. You really don't even know if they're still active. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So then, so however, then, yeah. you do have Rebecca's magic paper. <laughs> oh yeah. A little yeah, bit. we could send a note to one of them. Yeah, you could you could try. Definitely more more focused on making sure she's all right, though. I'm sorry for the shenanigans on the way to the the emotional place, but um, I've had that that uh, Ishporta thing on the back burner since you did the... <laughs> that. It was hilarious. Was it was hilarious. <laughs> it, it was it was a, it was a very good balance of yucks and and sad. Sad and pen, pen uh, yeah, it, like it, that's a good punishment for do for for what he pulled. <laughs> well, and they weren't firing on you because of the poster. Oh, they <laughs> totally would have like been way worse. Like they would have sent the whole army after us if they knew it was him. Oh no, definitely. they wouldn't have called reinforcements because they didn't want to split the money. Oh, oh, and they also wouldn't have been shooting. To, they 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 definitely wouldn't use lethal force because they'd get um. What is it? Way Three and a half money. times the money yeah. if they brought you in alive. Yeah, One thousand TP. Big fucking money. Who who Which is, found out about that and got so mad that they want me alive? Like who I, in their government? I think that's the, the second biggest. That's the, that's basically the capital of the country, and that's an actual country, unlike the Sword Coast. I, I think the sequence of events. That guy went and told someone. Who told someone? Who military. told someone? High up. It was ex-military. Yeah, and then what? What was it? What was they the sent a delegate a to the other country, and like they ended up like confirming shit, and then they're like, "Oh shit, this um, this is not happening." So um, then yeah. yeah. So basically, those two countries have been on the verge of war for so long. Um, it's kind of like <laughs> India and Pakistan, where they have like you know the the hotline <laughs> or like yeah, the u.s and russia one. during the cold war right right um so that I was i didn't think they'd confirm it major cargan's like military mission. and equipment shop major car yeah so so i talked to someone who was potentially a major and then major, major up right yeah former major so major up 
it, it wouldn't be that hard for him to talk to Brass and then Brass to like you know and then they could confirm in their own government if this morgan of special forces exists and then double check with the other country it's like hey uh we got a report from a guy who was pretending to be special forces that you were planning an attack can you like we're we're, we're pretty sure you're not but can you confirm that hold on now i need the to population do this. the population and this is a uh, old edition numbers, so you know grain of salt or whatever is seventy thousand for Schwarta, plus an additional twenty five thousand troops. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> so over a quarter of the population of that of that city is military, <laughs> and the government of that city is a military council. It's actually ruled by the general. Oh. It's literally the military capital of the city. <laughs> of the country, I mean. Well, that's the end of this episode. We saved Stella Umbra. Yo. I didn't realize you were still alive.